pick up the play-by-play of the opening period, Bernie Pascal and Tom White. Thank you, Ryan. Hello, everybody. Czechoslovakia in red and the United States. And this will no doubt be a very emotional game. The U.S. coming off that big 2-2 tie with Sweden. And the referee Lindgren is all set to drop the puck. And the Stashny brothers, the starting forward line for Czechoslovakia. And Peter Stashny, number 26 at center. Number 10 for the USA is Mark Johnson. The starting center, he has McClanahan on the left side. And we just have a momentarily delay here as the referee goes over to the timekeeping bench. But it's a very important game time for both teams. Czechoslovakia beating Norway 11-0 in their first encounter. Well, the United States have a very rough schedule in this uh, tournament in that they had to play their first game against Sweden, one of the favorites. And that last-minute goal with their goaltender out coming back to tie 2 all was a very important point for them. And now they come right back against the silver medalists at the World Champions last World Championships last year in the Soviet Union, the Czechoslovakian team, which has a very strong, experienced hockey club. And the game here earlier today, Canada defeated Poland by a score of 5-1. to one. So Canada is undefeated in two games, defeating Holland 10-1 to one and Poland 5-1. Now Johnson against Stashny, the puck is cleared into the U.S. zone. This is Mike Ramsey slapping it off the boards. Bubla of Czechoslovakia. On that left side goes Anton Stashny. Comes to the line. And it's dumped out to center. This is Stashny, number 18, Marion, the 27-year-old veteran of this Czechoslovakian team. Gets it over to Anton. He can't catch up to it, though. And it's Ken Morrow. He's bumped against the boards by Anton Stashny. And a bit of a mix-up in that United States corner. Well, the United States has a very aggressive hockey team. Here we see Morrow mixing it up. But they played a very aggressive game against Sweden in the first game of the Olympic uh, round. The, the previous game they played in a two-all tie. And it looks like we're starting out here to have an aggressive game this evening. Face off in the Czechoslovakian zone to the left of Yuri Krolik. And this crowd... 100% behind Herb Brooks, the coach of the U.S. team. There's a shot right on, and Krolik grabs a hold of that, and he holds on. Well, Krolik, he's a big question mark with the Czechoslovakian team. Uh, they've changed both the goalers. Well, as Sarah defected, we had Zarilla and uh, Holacek both playing in West Germany, and they have Krolik, who played in the World Championships last year, but one of the question marks for the Czechoslovakian team. This is Broughton against Novak. The puck comes back to the line, a drive. And Kralik deflects that up over the glass. And out of play is Christian. What a low shot go. That was a great stick save by Kralik. Well, there we have Carol Good on the left and Rudy Bukac, uh, both veteran coaches in uh, Czechoslovakia. One with Sparta Frog. Now here's a chance for the U.S. Ruzioni got a shot and it was blocked. Martin Nets brings it right back for Czechoslovakia. His drive. And that hit the defenseman number six, Baker, on the chin. And Baker took that shot. It bounced off his arm right up and hit him on the chin. This is CTV, Canada's Olympic Network. What is ESSO? It's Bonnie Lowe and other geologists searching for uranium deposits. It's chemists like Joe Gutman developing efficient, more compact furnaces for your home. It's technicians like Gary Piggott conducting research into solar energy. And it's Raymond Mayer supplying special lubricants for giant diesels. They are ESSO, part of Canada's future for the past 100 years. The injured player, Bill Baker, the captain of the University of Minnesota last year, still being attended to after taking that shot bouncing. Here's the play with Martinez, Tom. The shot coming off Martinez hits the stick and seems to come up and get Baker just on the chin or just in the side of the mouth. You see him holding there. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any blood on the ice, but I think it uh, certainly has dazed him as he went down. Of course, Baker was the hero of the game against Sweden. He's up now, but he was the hero of the game against Sweden with the last-minute goal just moving in from the point. A, a great goal, really, with the goaltender out to tie that game against Sweden in the first game of the championships to all. Bill Baker gets a great round of applause here at the Olympic Fieldhouse as he heads over to the U.S. bench. Face off in the U.S. zone to the right of goaltender Jim Craig. Number 11 for Czechoslovakia, Yuri Novak in his sixth season. Here comes the U.S. 
Broughton had trouble with it at center, now goes back, fires it inside his own line. This is Ramsey. Cleared up on the right side, and that's broken up. Good defensive play by Averman, deflecting it up over the boards. Ramsey is uh, the first U.S. born player, college player, to be drafted in the first round of the National Hockey League. He was taken last year by Buffalo Sabres, but he elected to play for the United States Olympic team. No back against Broughton. The puck is shot in. Number three for the U.S. is Ken Morrow. Got the puck out to center. It's fired right back into the U.S. zone, just inside the blue line. Going after it there is Yuri Novak. Tries to get it in front, and it's intercepted by Mike Ramsey. Here comes Ramsey for the U.S. Up to center. Shoots it into the Czechoslovakian zone and back after it. It slapped out to center ice. Right to Ken Morrow. Morrow, number three for the U.S. He was checked there by Novak. Haberman gets a shot. That's blocked. And Broughton has it for the United States. Boston kept in at the line by Naliba. In behind the net goes Mike Ramsey. He's bumped against the boards. Tries to get the puck ahead to Kristoff, and it goes all the way down the ice into the Czechoslovakian zone. This will be icing as it's touched by Deliba. The United States right off the bat have been dumping the puck in, and that's a dubious tactic against a team uh, as experienced as the Czechoslovakian team. Sometimes when you dump it in, they control that puck so well that they don't give it back to you. It's very difficult to force them to make a mistake in their own zone. No score here in the opening period. They didn't drop the puck fairly there, so they'll do it again. Earlier today, Canada defeated Poland by a score of 5-1. to one. Primo, Devaney, Berry, Waters, and Zupanchet scored for Team Canada. Now the U.S. bringing it up. Schneider drops it at the line. Harrington backhands it into the corner. Comes back to Dave Christian. Christian fires it wide. Shot right back in. After it is Maliba of Czechoslovakia. He's stopped by Mark Pavlich, and they finally get it out to the line, out to center. Brought in by Lukas. Lukas shot, and that deflected off defenseman Bill Baker and goes wide. Back to the line, a catch for Kyberl, and he lets it go wide. Pavlich rolls it in front. They score! Pozar. seemed to stand up on him as he as he made the shot it came off to him just off the side of the net he didn't take long to get it away another one of the veteran Czechoslovakian players Novi getting the puck in the door there's Pozar just stops it down doesn't seem to get all that much wood on it but goes between uh, either underneath the arm or between the pads of Craig another look from another angle going behind the net thrown in front by Novi to Pozar the shot comes right between the legs of Craig, the United States goaltender. Okay, back to the action. The Stashley brothers out there once again for Czechoslovakia. Marion is bumped, gets it over to Anton, back to Marion, and it's broken up by the United States' Mark Johnson. A pass on the left side to McClanahan. Oh, and he just fired that one wide. Back to the line, and Morrow couldn't keep it in. A race for it. Stashney gets it. Rolled it in front to Marion Stashney. He chases it into the corner. Tried to get it back to Bubla. This is Anton Stashney. To Marion Stashney at the side. Rolls it in front. And that's intercepted by Ken Morrow. Morrow clears it out to center ice. And it comes back to Bubla. Bubla of Czechoslovakia. Up to the U.S. side of center. Then decides to go back to his own zone. Cleared it in. Marion Stashney was caught at the line. It'll be icing as it's touched by Mark Johnson. Well, Pozar, the uh, goal scorer, the first Czechoslovakian goal, another experienced forwarder. The Canadians have seen him before in the Canada Cup. And one thing that characterizes this Czechoslovakian team is the amount of experienced forwards they've had. They've had those forwards, Pozar, Abram, and Mastajnys, for many, many years. Okay, Mark Wells is out there. The puck comes back, a drive by Verkota. And it's brought back by Aberman. Going over the line, a rolling puck in front. And a good defensive play again by Baker. Here's Halupa. His shot deflected right on. Craig stopped that. Haberman slaps away at it. And it rolls to Dave Christian. Now the U.S. Christian bringing it out. Pass on that left side to Verkota. Drops it back to Silk. Rolls it in front. And it just went sailing through the crease. Lukacs at center ice. Pass just failed to reach him. And it's fired into the U.S. zone. Baker goes after it. Pass on the left side, Halupa broken up for Czechoslovakia. Now 
the U.S. brings it out again. Number 15 is Mark Wells. Drops it back and it's broken up and cleared to center ice. Now Pozar, number 23. There's his shot. Craig stops that and covers up. Next Monday night, CDV News will bring you complete election returns and analysis on voting day as the polls close across the country at 8 o'clock local times. Decision 80. This is CTV, Canada's Olympic network. When the cost of oil went up, good old Jerry converted his oil furnace to gas. But then when gas went up, he cut down on gas by adding wood. Now Humphrey reduced his fuel bill by insulating with fiberglass paint. The money he saved on fuel helped pay for two weeks out of the snow and into the sun. Save money this winter. Insulate with fiberglass pink. It's like long underwear for your home. 15 minutes and 26 seconds remaining in the opening period. And Czechoslovakia on a goal by Pozar leads one to nothing. This is Peter Stashny ready to sink the face off against Neil Broughton. Just outside the Czechoslovakian line. Marion Stashny goes after it. Broughton beats a pass on that left side. Oh! Harry Azzoni fires it in and it's 1-1. Harry Azzoni, he's the captain of the United States team and he says the United States... It's a greater honor to play for the Olympic team than to get the money. All the National Hockey League can do is pay him money. But the nice low shot to the far corner. Here we see the, the angle the goaltender played. He got a little too far at the side, left too much on his glove side. And Erosione just put it low and to that far side. Czechoslovakian goaltender getting a little mixed up on his angle off the side of the crease. Here comes Lukács back for Czechoslovakia drive. And that just went wide of goaltender Craig. A 1-1 tie. Halupa stops it at the line. Then he's bumped and they hold the puck against the boards as Buzzy Snyder pins Halupa. We've played four minutes and 55 seconds here in the opening period. A 1-1 tie. A shot again. Aruzioni just picking the far side. Czechoslovakian goaltender not able to handle it low. Now the puck is into Lukacs, and it's offside at the U.S. blue line. And the Czechoslovakian team upset with that call, but I don't think there's much question about it. Novak against number 16 for the U.S., Mark Pavlich. The puck goes back into the Czechoslovakian zone. Cleared up to Lukacs. He's bumped, and Bill Baker got a piece of him. The puck is loose at center. Harrington had trouble with it. Back into his own go goes Dave Christian. Christian right in front of his own net. Got a pass ahead. There's a chance now for the Pavlich on the right side. Oh, and what a save. The rebound, and the puck is cleared out to center. And this is Baker back inside his own line for Team USA. Baker clears it up on the right side to Pavlich. Pavlich gets it over to Snyder. A backhand. The rebound. They score. System four checking. They had the first good opportunity. The rebound coming in late, just tipping it again. The same spot underneath that uh, left pad of the Czechoslovakian goaltender. This is the importance of going to the net for the rebounds and those extra shots after the original shot is there, not turning off the net. Well, Pavlich right there to get the rebound, and the U.S. goes in front two to one after the shot from Buzzy Snyder. Novi fires it right on. Craig stops that. Puck rolls into the corner. The U.S. with a one-goal lead. Dump the puck out to center. Kyberl has trouble with it there. Novi goes after it. Brings it up to the U.S. line. Here's Novi moving in front of the net. A shot. And Craig stops that. Mark Johnson, number 10. Clears it out to center ice. And then it's intercepted there by number 15, Kyberl. 
in behind his own net to Naliba. He's bumped. Cowbrough clears it around. The puck rolls in. Fly the shot. Hit the side of the net as Strobel was standing all alone. Calling for the pass now is Ramsey. And Kralik stops that shot from Ramsey from close range. The Czechoslovakian team, I've never seen them lose their composure like this. They're reeling at this point under the constant pressure of the United States. And I think the fans have a lot to do with it here. We see Strobel just tipping that puck. It comes, we have the, the defenseman moving right into the top of the circle. The way they tied up the game in Sweden. Going right to that net again for the rebound. And we have Kralik dropping on it to kill the play. Here's a chance now for Baker. Shoots it into the corner and it's deflected up over the glass. And out of play with 13.22 left in the opening period. Very emotional crowd, especially after the U.S. tied Sweden in their first game on a goal in the last minute of play with their goalkeeper on the bench. And they lead this one 2-1. to one. Now it's Dave Christian at center. Christian, number 23, back to Baker. Baker comes out to the center line, helped out by Broughton. Kristoff on the right side. Got to the Czechoslovakian line. Stopped there by Durish. Puck rolls into the corner. Kristoff goes in after it. Kristoff knocked against the boards. Now it's Broughton trying to get it back. But it's brought out by Czechoslovakia now. Here's a chance for Stashny. And Anton's drive was stopped by Jim Craig. They keep it in. Here's a chance. Peter Stashny right in front. And Craig stopped him. Some great goaltending by Craig. Now it's brought back by Kristoff. Split for the defense. He's dumped. No penalty there. And the fans very upset about that. Kristoff dumped again right in front of the net. And it's brought out by Stashny. Clears it. That drive just goes wide. Peter Stashny, number 26, shoots it down the ice into the U.S. zone. It's icing against Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakian team having to ice that puck again under constant pressure. Craig coming up and uh, making a good stop in the pressure and with Stasny just off the edge. The United States coming back again, putting constant pressure on all the shots, moving through. Christian was really upset here, did a little bit of a dive, although it could have been a minor penalty. Lindgren putting the whistle in his pocket. Okay, they're back to the live action. The puck in the corner. Moving in front is Wells, calling for a pass, but it never got there. Wells has the puck in the corner. He's bumped. Goes around to the other side to Dvorak. Dvorak of Czechoslovakia gets it out to center ice, brought in by Novak. Novak up to the U.S. line, going in with Lukac. Takes it into the corner, drops it back to Halupa. Halupa shot, juggled, and Craig knocked it over to the other side. And here comes Team USA. Brought out on the right side by Kenny Morrow, and he was stopped. As they go end to end, a great pace. Lukac over the line. There's Lukac in front. Oh, and he tried to set up Novak, and that just failed to reach him. Pozar is hammered against the boards. Team USA comes right back. Ramsey, and he couldn't get a shot as the puck is cleared into the corner. Slapped by Kyberl. Then he was bumped to deflection in front, and Kralik got a piece of that. Boy, what action here in the opening period. We played nine minutes, and it's 2-1 for Team USA. Over the line now goes Christian, and he can't get a shot. Harrington keeps it in, rolls it in front for Snyder, and Kralik juggled that. Baker's shot, and Kralik makes a stick save there. Naliba rolls it in front. Team USA really putting on the pressure. Here's Snyder in behind the net. Snyder rolls it in front. And nobody could get a good shot on goal as it's cleared up over the glass and out of play. This is CTV, Canada's Olympic Network. This is the life for me. This is the life in a free. Life makes it easy to be what you want. some fun into keeping fit. Exercise, eat right, or if you need a supplement to your nutritional plan, try Life Brand Multiple Vitamins with Minerals. Life Brand, official supplier of vitamins to Canada's Olympic teams. This is the life and I love it. Back 
to the live action Team USA. Mark Johnson in front, and the pass just failed to get to him, and it's kept inside the line, going after it there. Number 27, Mercota got a piece of it momentarily. Now it's brought back in by Peter Stashney, and Jimmy Craig stops that. Marion Stashney slaps it in front. Mark Johnson in behind his own goal, stolen there by Stashney, but he cleared it right down the ice, back into the Czechoslovakian zone. Anton Stashney off the boards. Marion Stashney goes after it for Czechoslovakia. He was Czech. Team USA brings it right back. And the pass just failed to get over to Mark Johnson as McClanahan, number 24, tried to get it over. Now the puck is cleared into the U.S. zone. Craig behind the net. Nine minutes and 21 seconds left here in the opening period. It's 2-1 for Team USA. The puck up on that left side. Luzioni takes it into the corner. He's bumped by Halupa. And the puck rolls over to Averman. Averman, the captain of Czechoslovakia, gets it out to center to Lukács. Lukács trying to split through the defense, and he was stopped there by Kenny Morrow. Rolls around to Steve Kristoff. Halupa at center. Halupa gets the pass to Vincent Lukács, and he can't catch up to it. Halupa has it bounce over his stick, and the puck goes back into the Czechoslovakian zone. Halupa, number five. Dvorak. Puck is clear, but not out. Oh, it did get over the line. Ramsey argues that. Ramsey moved right up on that line, and that uh, discourages your forechecking sometimes. Those uh, defensemen, even though the United States is just buzzing, and who says emotion doesn't play part in a hockey game because the arena and the crowd here cheering the United States on, I think are doing a great deal for their own team. The United States is flying at this point. Both teams are at full strength. Team USA leading 2-1. The puck gets over Bob Suter's stick, and it rolls into the Team USA zone. Novi right in front. There's a chance now for number 16, Preacher, and that shot is stopped by Craig as he got a piece of it. Into the corner, the puck goes loose, and Team USA brings it right out. Snyder calling for a pass, takes it. Here's Snyder moving in, but he can't get the relay pass back. Now... Brought back by Czechoslovakia. This is Preacher, and his shot hits the defenseman and goes into the corner. Preacher tries to get it to Milan Novi. Novi, number six. He's bumped off the puck, and they hold it there to get a whistle. Preacher has been forced to play because Mark Nets uh, was injured. The experienced Czechoslovakian forward was injured a few shifts ago. Mark Johnson there, the United States player. We see Lukács trying to move through the defense. Good one-on-one -on -one coverage there. Great one-on-one -on -one coverage by Rams. Just staying with his man, forcing him until help arrives to pick up the puck. Eight minutes and one second left in the opening period. And just as they dropped the puck, a player jumped into the face-off circle, so they'll do it again. And there's a lot of this Lake Placid flu going around, Tom. I know some of Team Canada players have it. Some of the CTV personnel have it. <laughs> Yours truly. Here's a chance for Stashney, a drive. And Craig stops at another shot. They score! Well, that was inevitable as they were hammering away in front of goaltender Jimmy Craig. While Stashney's there, they're very experienced. They just control that puck inside the zone. The first shot is stopped. The, and we have Craig out of position, just holding there until they get possession of the puck again and then firing it behind Craig. Craig uh, complained a little bit that there was someone in the crease, but there he is out of position. Stashney just lifting the puck over the melee in front of the net. So it's a 2-2 tie with 7.53 left in the opening period. Both teams are at full strength. The puck is dropped back to Averman. Averman. Up to the line, he's knocked off stride and hauled down. There'll be a penalty for cross-checking. While well, the interpretation of cross-checking by European officials is a little different from North America. If you get those arms extended from your body, we're caught in the, we're gonna see it again here. Averman, one of the premier forwards, there's the stick coming away from your body. If the stick gets a long way in front of your body, they call it a cross check no matter how hard the opponent is hit, but we're caught in the box for the United States. So the Czechoslovakian team has a very impressive power play. They have all their big shooters out there with the veteran Novi at center. Novi drops it back to the line, but it's intercepted there by Steve Kristoff. His shot. And Yuri Kralik blocks that drive. Cleared behind the net by Kyberl. 
Brought out by Novi. Here's Novi coming up to center. Feeds a pass on the left side to Vincent Lukacs. Back to Novi, but that failed to reach him as Morrow. Up on the left side to Kristoff. Kristoff, number 11, is stopped as he couldn't get by Kyberl. The puck is cleared back by Czechoslovakia. Number 21 is Lukacs a drive. And Craig stops at Novi after the rebound. And it was knocked into the corner by Kenny Morrow. Comes back to Kyberl. Kyberl, number 15, getting set for Czechoslovakia. Into Novi. Back to Kyberl. Kyberl clears it over. A chance for Naliva. They really move the puck with authority. A pass right in front. And it was deflected and Craig held on. The United States does a very good job when the team is in the far end forechecking. They held the Czechoslovakian team up a little. They really forecheck hard. But once you get into their zone, they play a, a discipline box. They don't chase as much when they're in their own zone, or at least that's the way they've elected to play their zone uh, tonight. But they're doing a good job killing off the penalty against the very experienced Czechoslovakian offense. Six minutes and 45 seconds left to be played in the opening period. It's a 2-2 tie. Czechoslovakia scored the game's first goal by Pozar, but then the U.S. came back to tie it, then moved in front 2-1 before that last goal by Marion Stashny to tie it at 2. Well, there seems to be in that last, last little melee in front of the net, there seems to be a, a, a piece of ice that's out just at the top of the, of the crease, and goaltender Craig says, hey, we better straighten that out because I don't want to fall at this point in the hockey game. And so we have to delay while they straighten that out. Ready now for the draw to the left of Jimmy Craig. The puck rolls into the corner. Off the glass. They can't get it out as Halupa keeps it in momentarily. Then it was slapped down the ice. This is Bubla behind his own net. Watched by Buzzy Snyder. Bubla. 49 seconds remaining in the penalty to Verkota. Puck is brought in by Peter Stashny. Stashny drops it back to Mary and Stashny. Over to the other side. Czechoslovakia on the power play here. Bubla drops it in to Stashny. Back now to Jurish. Moves it over to Marion Stashny. Back to Jurish. Jurish getting set. Oh, and it's blocked in front by defenseman Baker. Baker again, the hero of the last game and being hit already tonight. Is very deft at uh, getting down and blocking the shots. Jura's moving right into the point. Look at the sellout. There comes Baker right across, selling out completely to block that shot before it gets to goaltender Craig. 27 seconds left in the penalty. 6.07 left here in the opening period. And you can hear the crowd here at the Olympic Fieldhouse. They've got to be happy with what they've seen in this game so far. It's been wide open and highly entertaining. Bubla, number 19, behind his own goal for Czechoslovakia. To Marion Stashny. Here's Marion over to Peter Stashny on the right side. Peter Stashny takes it into the corner, bumped by Ramsey. And then got the puck over to Ken Morrow. Morrow claps it off the boards and down the ice. And this is Jurich, number four, back for Czechoslovakia. And the penalty has expired, and the U.S. has successfully killed off the penalty. Stashny over to Jurich. Into the corner, the puck rolls in front, and it's brought out by Verkota. Up on the right side, and it just gets inside the blue line, a delayed offside. The offside is called by the referee. Well, that happens sometimes in international hockey because the linesmen, especially in this uh, rink, have a difficult time the way the bench is located and the height of the glass trying to get out of the play. And they get caught up in the play and aren't able to make the call. The referee helps them out with the offside call. Both teams back at full strength. The puck comes over to Baker. Let it go to number 16, Mark Pavlich. Pavlich is dumped there by Halupa. And there will be a penalty to Czechoslovakia, Halupa. And referee Lindgren still has his arm up in the air, signifying that call. Well, no question about it. He's calling uh, the uh, tripping call. As uh, the United States player moved over the line, just in full flight here, Pavlich with the puck, makes a little move outside, then comes back to the inside. Palupa gets the leg and a little bit of a stick in there to dump Pavlich, who was in full flight trying to cut across the line. Tripping penalty to Halupa with 5.09 left to play here in the opening period. And right from the faceoff, the puck is deflected up over the glass and out of play. And today is Valentine's Day. We'd like to wish everyone along the full CTV network, all the ladies, 
Very happy Valentine's Day. 2-2 tie here in the final five minutes of the opening period. Number six has played a strong game defensively. Bill Baker for Team USA feeds the puck out to Mark Johnson. Back to Baker. Baker over to the far side. The puck goes to Christian. Christian brings it out. Up to the Czechoslovakian line to Mark Johnson. McClanahan takes it into the corner. McClanahan lets it go back to Baker. Baker getting set. There's his shot. And it deflects off a stick and goes into the corner. Mark Johnson back to Christian. Christian into the corner. And they couldn't trap the puck there. As Dvorak gets it for Czechoslovakia. Shoots it. Knocked down at the line. Brought in by Mark Johnson over to McClanahan. McClanahan, number 24, fires it off the board. This is Strobel. Strobel, number 19. Back to McClanahan. McClanahan to Johnson. Back to Christian. Over to Mark Johnson. Johnson into the corner. A pass in front. And Baker couldn't get it as it was deflected just before he could reach it. 49 seconds left in the penalty to Halupa. This is Christian shooting it into the corner. Mark Johnson goes in after it there. Johnson trying to get it in front to McClenahan. He was checked. Pozar bumped against the boards. The puck is pinned and knocked loose. Here's a chance for Ramsey. A shot deflected in front by Bublin. It's up over the glass. And we have a whistle. Like to remind you, Monday night, CTV will be on hand to provide complete election coverage with Lloyd Robertson, Harvey Kirk, and Bruce Phillips. CTV's Decision 80 starts Monday evening after the closing of the polls. Arruzioni, the United States captain, complaining bitterly to referee Lindgren because Budla just deliberately took the puck and shot it over the glass, and that should be a two-minute penalty for delaying the game, but he just took it and threw it over the glass. This is Broughton getting set now for the draw, number nine for Team USA. Kristoff kicked the puck loose, but then it went down off Kenny Morrow back into his own zone. Morrow, number three. Novi chased him back and then moved over to the other side. Morrow gets it ahead, tended for Kristoff. He couldn't reach it. Novi backhands it. Pozar was out of position, couldn't catch up to it. And now it's into the corner to Broughton. Broughton, number nine, behind his own net. Brings it out for Team USA. Three minutes left to play in the opening period. It's a 2-2 tie. Number 21 for Team USA scored. One of the Team USA goals, Arruzioni. And the puck is shot down into the Czechoslovakian zone where Yuri Krilik scoops it up and holds on. That's another difference between hockey in North America and the National Hockey League. What you saw the Czechoslovakian goaltender do right there, coming out well out of his net to grab the puck. That is a two-minute penalty again for delaying the game, uh, either by the Canadian Amateur Hockey Association rules or by the National Hockey League rules, but it's quite well accepted in uh, international play. Both teams at full strength. The puck comes back to Christian, and a save there by Krelik as he got his stick on that drive and deflected it into the corner. Christian moves back up, clears it in behind the Czechoslovakian net. Rolled it in front as Silk tried to get a pass, but he was checked and couldn't get a really good pass in front of the net, and it shot down the ice. Baker's back after it. What linesman is calling now? They finally blow the whistle. It is icing against Czechoslovakia. Christian has been moved back. Uh, we see him here. Dave Christian has been moved back to play defense because of the injury to O'Callaghan. O'Callaghan hurt himself last Saturday in the game uh, between the United States and the Soviet Union. He's on. He's dressed today, but he has problems with knee ligaments, and uh, the United States named him as one of their 20 players. They're trying to play him, but they're short of defensemen. They moved Dave Christian back and forward to defense. Okay, Tom, the puck is dropped, cleared into the corner. Durish. And Czechoslovakia's Bubla, number 19, spins around in his own zone. Buzzy Snyder clears it in front. There's a loose puck. And the puck is stopped there by number four, Durish. Durish runs into the U.S. player and just got a piece of him. Snyder goes after the puck. Snyder then lost it, and it's brought out by number 26, Peter Stashny. Marion Stashny couldn't control it, and Team USA fires it right back into the corner. Durish is bumped against the boards. Anton Stashny clears it around to Peter Stashny. Suter bumped with him. Now Marion Stashny goes in after it for Czechoslovakia. He's knocked off stride. 
Here's Suter's shot, deflected, and it just goes wide of goaltender Kralik. Rolls into the other corner now. Two players colliding. And there'll be a penalty there as Harrington is brought into the boards heavily. And there'll be a Czechoslovakian penalty. Stashny, a hooking penalty, taking the player right in. He seems to think it's pretty funny, but I'll tell you, at this point in the hockey game, it's not so funny because really, but here he has the stick underneath the arm of Harrington, take him right in, and Lindgren is calling a hooking penalty, and again, Czechoslovakia is going to be shorthanded, and they've already been placed under a lot of pressure when they're even side. United States just playing a great hockey game, taking this game to the Czechoslovakian team, putting them under all kinds of pressure in their own zone. Anton Stashny, the youngest of the three Stashny brothers in the penalty box. A 2-2 tie. Team USA has the puck. Ruzioni dumps it in behind the net to the opposite corner. Mark Johnson goes in there after it. Haberman chases it for Czechoslovakia. Overskated the puck and they pin it against the net and get a whistle. Hockey fans should watch how Czechoslovakia tries to kill this penalty in their own zone. They do not play a stagnant box. They do not play passive discipline. They chase all the time, chase, try to force you to make a mistake. Here's a chance for Kristoff in front. Couldn't get a good shot on goal. Borzak clears it off the boards and down the ice into the U.S. zone. 135 left in the Czechoslovakian penalty to Anton Stashny. 103 left here in the opening period. Baker has trouble with it. Halupa fires it in. That's a delayed offside. Delayed offside at the Team USA line. Well, we mentioned before that uh, Martin Nets, one of the more experienced players in the Czechoslovakian team, had been taken off the bench. He was holding his wrist. And apparently we've been given the news that he has a broken arm, and that's a big blow for the Czechoslovakian team because he is one of the premier forwards in the world, Vladimir Martinets. 54 seconds left to be played here in the first period. Chasing the puck there was number 19, Eric Strobel. Couldn't catch up to it. Jimmy Craig out of the net, leaves it for Mike Ramsey. The 19-year-old defenseman from the University of Minnesota clears it up. Strobel takes it into the corner. Strobel trying to push it from the side, and he was checked by Halupa. Not only was he checked by Halupa, and Mark Johnson uh, questioning here the official. He's saying that it was deflected off the Czechoslovakian player sticking into the back of the net. And in that case, the faceoff should be to the right of the Czechoslovakian goaltender. But referee Lindgren rules otherwise, so that went off the United States players' stick, and the faceoff comes outside the blue line. Final 33 seconds of the first period. Team USA on the power play. Johnson in behind the net. He's pinned against the boards by Kyberl, and Strobel moves in as well. As coach Herb Brooks of Team USA looks on. Brooks from the University of Minnesota. Former captain of world championship and Olympic teams representing the USA. Now it's Mark Johnson getting set for the draw. The puck cleared into the corner. Naliba, number three, had it momentarily. Then it goes to McClanahan. McClanahan trying to get it in front to Mike Ramsey with 12 seconds left. This is David Silk. Silk bumped there by Pozar. Goes in after it. And he's knocked against the boards by Naliba. Comes back to the line to Christian. His shot. And it just goes wide with one second left. And there's the horn. And the first period is over. And a little mix-up right at the buzzer there. Time in front of goaltender Kralik. Listen to the crowd. The crowd giving the United States a standing ovation as they go off the ice. 2-2 tied, playing with all kinds of spirit. And the teams filing off into their respective dressing rooms. And the crowd very happy, no question about it, with the play here in the first 20 minutes. This is CTV, Canada's Olympic Network. Greatest. Girl, gas light, Coca-Cola, and 
Canada? Get going. Go for the savings and values you'll find at Sears right now, all across Canada. Save $5 to $20 on textured draperies. Save $150 on a Craftsman radio arm saw. Save one-third on fashion wall coverings. And save $100 on a 20-inch color TV. See these great values and more right now in Sears new catalog and Sears retail stores. So let's go, Canada. Get saving at Sears. And there was more hockey today at the Field House, the Olympic Arena here in Lake Placid. Canada played Poland. Now, Poland was not expected to do all that well in this tournament, but the other night they upset Finland, a much higher rated team. So today's game was important to Canada. And here's how it looked. The highlights with commentator Ron Roosh. Here are the goaltenders for the game. Henrik Wojtynik of Poland, who stopped 49 shots in the 5-4 win for the Poles over Finland. And Paul Paggio of Canada, making his first appearance in the tournament. He's from Shawinigan, Quebec. And in the game, Poland here in the first period trying to clear the zone, but number seven, Joe Grant for Canada, gets it to number three, Brad Peary, who moves in, feeds the puck to Dalvis at the side of the net. It winds up in the net as Zupancic puts it in. one nothing for Canada. On the replay, you're going to get a chance here to see the puck bounce off the goaltender in front of the net, and there is Zupancic, number 22, to score, and he's a happy man. From the back of the net, here's the goal judge's view. Goalie into the net. Second goal of the game, Canada caught on a two-on-one here as Randy Gregg was gambling and losing. Zabawa out to Zobczyk, and he scores with a slap shot over Pajot's shoulder. On the replay, you'll see a good shot here, the Polish player picking the corner on the glove side of Pajot. The whole story on the winning goal of the game was number nine, Glenn Anderson. Don't take your eyes off this 19-year-old. Here he is circling around the neck, and he's got the puck again. Shooting, good save. The puck comes out again. And here's a chance for number five, Waters. Puck behind the net. Watch for number nine, circling again, trying to get that puck out. He's in the corner, circling away from the checking. The puck bounces into the corner. Now he'll come after the puck again. He's got it. He goes to the side of the net, gets it through the crease. It bounces out. Bad clearing, and Waters scores, and Canada leads 2-1. to one. On the replay, you're going to see again Anderson, the 19-year-old, to the side of the net. The puck comes out. Look at the fanned pass, and here's Waters putting it in. Canada leading 2-1. to one. Just a minute and 50 seconds later, Dan McLean gets a pass out of his own end and goes in with uh, Ken Berry and Bill and Maxwell. A pass over to Berry, and he makes it 3-1. to one. On the replay, you're going to see Maxwell drop his shoulder on the two-on-one break and then pass it over. The defense goes out to lunch, and Berry scores to make it 3-1, his fourth goal of the tournament. Now here's Canada again. Great. In the high march, number 20, he circles towards the boards and around behind the net with two Canadians out in front. He'll shoot the puck up high on the goaltender. It seems to handcuff him, and Devaney scores, and it's 4-1. On the, the goal here again, you'll see it. Hindmarch coming around behind the net, and he'll cut up to his forehand as he gets to the side of the net. Here he comes. Now watch him flip it up, and it handcuffs the goaltender. It drops down between his legs into the net, 4-1, to one, Canada leading. The last goal of the game it was sheer forechecking. Devaney forcing the play. Primo at the blue line. He just blasts this one home. 5-1, to one, the final score. Canada now 2-0. Final shots on goal, 36-25. And the tie for first place in the red division with the Soviets and Canada at 2-0. That's right. That's what it all means. Canada and the Soviet Union, now the only teams undefeated in the red division, 2-0. So uh, the hockey tournament here is building up into quite interesting action. As you can see, we have a game going on that's a very tough one tonight between Czechoslovakia and the United States. They're in intermission right now, and we'll be back there for second period action shortly. Well, we've uh, had quite a period of hockey so far. The uh, Czechoslovakians and the United States are deadlocked uh, too, and it's just been a great period of hockey, and there's a great deal of excitement right now down at the Olympic Fieldhouse. We're going to get a chance to take a look at some of the highlights of that period right now as the United States got everybody uh, off really on a wrong foot. This is a shot from the point by Coverly, and then the puck bounces out to Novi at the side of the net. He sets up number 23, Pozar, with a screenshot. That makes it one to nothing. Kind of a deceptive screenshot. You're going to see a replay here and you'll see exactly what they did as it goes into the side there that's Novi number six now watch Carverly gets it the defenseman goes down gets up and then he screens his goaltender so he just hung on to it good goal one to nothing is the score as Czechoslovakia is in the lead but it's tied up very quickly here's a face off and suddenly Mike Erzioni has the puck at the side of the net he scores and it's a 1-1 tie 
Take a look at this one again. A good setup as the pass comes from Neil Broughton, and then that snapshot it hits the far post and into the net, and it's 1-1. This is Baker, who hit, got hit in the face with a puck earlier in the period. He sets this play up as it's into Buzz Schneider, back to number 16, Mark Pavlich, 2-1. The United States is leading. The backhand will come in here. Here you see it. This is Schneider, back to number 16, at the side of that. Watch, it goes off the heel of a stick, so... It just drifts in past the goaltender, and the United States has the lead. But the three Stoshny brothers go to work here from the faceoff. As first we get a shot, then the rebound. Number 18 there is Marion Stoshny scoring, and that makes the score in the game. As we get a chance to take a look at the replay again, the puck is kicked out. But on the rebound, it goes in. Marion Stoshny from his brother Peter, and that's the way it stands. Who's going to win this hockey game? Who knows? But the United States certainly have a great deal of emotion going for them right now in their own rink with a tremendously uh, avid type crowd uh, cheering them on. 2-2 tie. They've had the lead a couple of times. We predicted at the outset of the telecast tonight that this game would be a rough one. It looks like they are really slamming each other around. And of course, these two teams have a lot going for each other right now as they try to get into the medal round. Both Czechoslovakia and the United States have a good shot at it now. As uh, the Sweden game, of course, you might remember the uh, Czechoslovakia, or at least the United States and Sweden played to a 2-2 tie on that last minute dramatic goal by Bill Baker. So they have things going their way right now. Let's hope they can keep uh, from this standpoint of the hometown fans at least that they can keep things going for each other right now so you know, that's the story Ron, I, I think that a lot of people forget that the united states after all were the first ones to really challenge canada in hockey because uh, way back in 1932 uh, the u.s and a real squeaker canada won but barely and that was the first big challenge that began the break for us against ice hockey oh, oh. this is ctv canada's olympic network <laughs> Esso salutes the savers. Esso salutes Chris Brown for switching to a friction-reducing oil that can save him gasoline. And the Erskins for keeping their wheels aligned to save on tire wear. And the Adolfs for changing their air filter regularly so their car can run more smoothly and efficiently. People like these look to Esso because they know Esso research results in products and services that can help them save. Esso, part of Canada's future for the past 100 years. A second mortgage would do the job, but it's not really to your advantage. How your money. You Scotiabank has people that can help you handle it. Goodness. People who understand your needs. Scotiabank experience. Take advantage of it. Because today, your money needs all the help it can get. Scotiabank. Everything you need. You know, I never would have thought of that. Welcome back to the Olympic Fieldhouse. It's a 2-2 tie. USA and Czechoslovakia. Durish. And Czechoslovakia still a man short with Anton Stashny. Having 23 seconds remaining in his penalty. But here's Peter Stashny going in a shot. And it just stopped by Craig. And Team USA comes back. Up on the right side goes Harrington. Going in with Pavlich. Pavlich passes it over. And the shot there by Buzzy Snyder. He didn't get good wood on it. It just rolled off his stick. And they hold it in the match there and get a whistle with four seconds left in the penalty. Well, the team started out just where they ended off that first period with going end to end. Buzzy Schneider coming back, and he can really skate. Buzzy Schneider is a veteran of the last Olympic team in 1976. He participated for the United States in Innsbruck with the U.S. Olympic team at that time. Pavlich now getting set for this face off against Peter Stashny. Comes over to Harrington. Harrington's bumped off the play. And the puck is cleared back into the U.S. zone. Ramsey, Czechoslovakia back at full strength as Anton Stashny's on the ice. Kenny Morrow cleared it to center. Jurish deflects it into his own side to Bubla out to center. Deflected by Peter Stashny down the ice. Back after it is Kenny Morrow. Morrow, number three for Team USA. Harrington was stopped by Stashny. Morrow goes back into his own zone. Tried to get that lead pass ahead to number 16. Mark Pavlich had just failed to click. Now it's in behind the Czechoslovakian net. Bubla off the boards. Team USA keeps it in. Bubla goes back after it again. Here's Bubla. There's it off the boards. Kept in there by Ramsey. Ramsey getting set. There's a shot. And it's blocked in front. Ramsey has it again. Rolls it in front. The shot is stopped. A bouncing puck, and it just goes wide of goaltender Kralik. 
Now Czechoslovakia brings it back up. Bubla brings it around the other side. Bubla, number 19, coming up to center. Here's Bubla, long shot. Reflected off a player and went up over the top of the net. Number 28 is John Harrington. Almost tapped it right by his goaltender, Jimmy Craig. Here comes Morrow. Morrow inside his own line, coming up to center. Morrow for Team USA is shot. Kralik deflects it into the corner. Halupa tried to get it out. Deflects off Kristoff. And it's brought out on the right side by Averman. Averman's drive and a glove save by Jimmy Craig. Craig catching the puck on that good trust by Averman. Averman, the captain of the Czechoslovakian team, has taken over that captaincy from Halenka, who has had knee surgery. Here we see some of the hard checking that's going on. Schneider being taken hard into the boards by Stoshnik. Well, we thought we had the upper hand on this flu, but I guess not, Tom. And uh, Ron Roosh is heading over from our broadcast center to bail us out. <laughs> A little repair work there in front of goaltender Craig. And also some work at the bench. Morrow with the stick, uh, white tape. More of the players are going away from the white tape and back to the black tape uh, now. But some of the United States players are continuing to use black tape on their stick. It's Morrow doctoring up his, hoping to get a goal here in the second period. Now Team USA slaps it off the boards. That drive by Dvorak goes wide. Ruzioni went up after the puck. He slipped and fell. Broughton is stopped there. Czechoslovakia keeping the pressure on, but the puck rolls to Bill Baker. Baker slaps it over to Ruzioni. He can't get it up. Now Baker over to Kristoff. Kristoff backhands it out. On the right side goes Christian. Christian fires it into the Czechoslovakian zone. A 2-2 tie. Here's a chance. Kristoff shot. And that's blocked by defenseman Dvorak. Dvorak uh, selling right out, coming across to block an experienced veteran defenseman from Cheska Butcher Beats. United States throwing that puck. Here's the opportunity right in front, selling out. Dvorak going low, going low, holding on to that puck before it gets to his goaltender. 17-17 left to play here at the second period. That puck is deflected up over the glass and out of play. Well, the pace of the hockey game is really a tribute to these young athletes because both of them have been going at a tremendous pace. They're obviously in just terrific condition. Ready now. Here's a chance for Mike Ramsey rolling it in front. That's broken up and slapped down the ice. Morrow racing after it with Preacher. Preacher gets to it. Over to Milan Novi. Mark Johnson checks him. Knocks him to the ice. Preacher has the puck for Czechoslovakia. Rolls it in front. And Pozar couldn't reach that. Number 15, Kyberly. Gets it ahead to Pozar. Pozar delayed offside. And Pozar, a heavy collision with Mike Ramsey. Well, those are the ones when you're reaching back to try and get that putt from behind you. Pozar really put himself offside. Going over the line. As we see it, pulled himself offside, but he's looking down at the puck, and Ramsey just comes across and levels him. Both teams are at full strength. Face off just outside the Team USA blue line. Puck rolls to center. Shot in. Peter Stashny tried to get it. Bounced away from him. Now it's Christian. He slaps it around the boards. Bert Coda. Got it outside the line, tried to get the puck to Bill Baker. Now Baker brings it up. Baker going over the line with Burkota in behind the net goes Silk. And he tried to get the pack, puck back in front, but it just failed. Now it's cleared back into the Team USA zone. Baker out to center. Iverly stops it there. Now it's Mark Wells bringing it in. Here's Wells going in for Team USA, but he was stopped. Christian at center. Wells didn't see the pass. It goes to Baker. Hit the official. There's a drive, and it just goes wide. Kept in by Christian. He missed by about two feet on that shot. Marion Stashney backhands it, but not out. Burkota got a weak shot, and it's out. And then back in, it's offside. 
Well, those uh, pucks that hit officials are very frustrating to the players. Sometimes they're moving to get the puck that hits the linesman or hits the referee, bounces off and then comes at a, a good angle for a shot on goal. Abelman complaining to the official about Lindgren uh, really in a little bit of pain, but the referees are part of the rink, just in the same way the goal posts or the nets or the glass or the gates. They're part of the game and part of the rink. Right from the draw, the puck is cleared down the ice into the Team USA zone. This is Mike Ramsey knocked heavily against the boards. Averman for Czechoslovakia. He overskated it. Pavlich coming up with Buzzy Snyder. He slips and falls. Pavlich carries on. Backhands it in front. They score. Buzzy Snyder. and he put on the brakes but the puck went the other way now it's slapped off the boards into the Czechoslovakian zone Naliba puck goes to Freacher Freacher now at center ice over to Milan Novi Novi drops it back for Freacher Freacher right in on goal and a good defensive play by Aruzioni stopped him 3-2 for Team USA now the puck is brought out by Pozar Pozar, number 23, fakes a shot, takes it into the corner, rolls it in front of drive, and Jimmy Craig stopped that. Here's Novi. Novi right in front, the puck is on the line and just deflected away. What a play by Christian. Christian has it again for Team USA, slaps it out to center ice. Kaliba. Novi couldn't reach that. Back for Team USA, brought in by McClenahan. McClenahan in front, a shot. And Scoble just missed on that drive. We played six minutes here in the second period. Now the puck goes to McClenahan. Back to Mark Johnson. After the puck is Kyrou. And Czechoslovakia brings it right out. Marion Stashny. There's Stashny over the line. Novi trying to get a shot. He's hauled down. There'll be a penalty to Team USA coming up. A delayed call. And here's the whistle. This is CTV, Canada's Olympic Network. Back to the Olympic Fieldhouse time and Team USA leading by one goal, 3-2. Penalized uh, just at the uh, before the break. The United States, a little holding penalty on Novi. And Czechoslovakia has the man advantage for the next two minutes. McClenahan in the penalty box for Team USA. Face off in the U.S. zone to the right of Jimmy Craig. Pavlich against Peter Stashny. Pops it back to Bubla. Off the boards to Anton Stashny. Back to Bubla. Bubla to Anton Stashny. Back to Bubla. Bubla getting set. Passes it over and the puck is deflected wide and comes all the way out to center and Bubla's back after it. 141 left in the Team USA penalty. Now it's Peter Stashny at center. Stashny shoots it. 
Knocked down there by defenseman Kenny Morrow. Peter Stashny in his own zone. Chased back by Pavlov. Bubla. Number 19. Here's Bubla. Drops it in to Peter Stashny. Stashny coming up. Up to the U.S. line. Clears it over and it's offside. Well, the United States doing a good job forcing the Czechoslovakian team in their own zone, having difficulty controlling it and regrouping. Stashny upset by the offside call on, on uh, the near side, but it was offside, and the, uh, the Czechoslovakian team are really shaken up at this point. They're down 3-2. I think the fans have got to them. They've lost a little bit of their composure. I see them looking back at their goaltender and shaking their heads as if the third goal was his fault. I don't think it had anything to do with that, with Schneider being off the edge, but a little uh, loss of composure here from a very experienced team. And we played seven minutes here in the second period. Puck is deflected up over the glass and out of play. Well, on this line, Lukacs is uh, replaced on the right wing, Mark Metz, who apparently has broken his arm. A big blow for the Czechoslovakian team. Now the player's in position. The puck is dropped back to the line. Cleared into the corner. This is Morrow going after it. Bumped by Aberman. And Harrington clears the puck outside the blue line with one minute remaining in the penalty to McClanahan on Team USA. Haberman is checked by Mark Johnson. Novak, though, carries on. Here's Novak going over the line, got to the blue line, then was stopped and knocked heavily to the ice by Morrow, and he's getting up slowly. In fact, he's limping over to the bench. 35 seconds left in the penalty. This is Novi behind his own net to Halupa. Lukacs on the right side takes the pass. Coming up, here's Lukacs going in with Novi. Gets a drive, and it deflected off the glove of Jimmy Craig and just went wide. Kept in by Halupa. Goes into the corner, and Jimmy Craig trying to cover up. And it slides underneath a the player there, and the mass of players hold it. Novak, after that tremendous check just inside the United States blue line, has had to go to the bench. And he is one of the premier centers. And the United States at this point not only are out hustling, out checking. Here we see Novak moving down, coming to the United States blue line, moves to the inside, gets by the first, and it's that second man that comes across and just drops him just inside the blue line. But he was hurt and had to go to the bench. This is Kyberly now at center, chased back by Chris Dodd. Kyberly inside his own line, passes to Pozar. Pozar is checked there by Christian, and the puck is dumped out to center. McClanahan back on the ice for Team USA. Gives it to Bill Baker. He was checked, and the puck rolls into the corner. Kyberly. As they start to throw the weight around now, after the puck goes, Preacher shoots it in. Craig away out of the net. Czechoslovakian player was knocked right over the boards into the player's bench. Puck is shot down the ice. This is Bubla going back after it, and it's icing. Well, that has to be one of the greatest success. Tigerl on the bench. He was hit by Baker. The whole U.S. team comes off and gives Baker a, a, a little pat, but he hit Tigerl so hard, and the board's being a little low. Here we have Tigerl just in front. He dumps the puck in. Baker coming across. Hits him, puts him right up, over, whoops, there I go, Mom, right over, upside down, into the Czechoslovakia bench. Well, that's one way to get a rest. 11-12 remaining in the second period, 3-2 for Team USA. Bert Koda against Peter Stashny for this faceoff. Puck rolls into the corner, this is Mike Ramsey going after it. Ramsey. To Mark Wells. Wells coming up on the left side at center. Back to Silk. And he couldn't control the pass. Now it's brought back out by Durish. On the left side to Marion Stashley. Stashley into the corner. Wells brings it back for Team USA. Here's Wells coming in with Silk. Wells puts on the brakes. Over to Dakota. And the puck just goes wide. Now it's Peter Stashley. And I tell you what I'm going to do, Tom. I'm going to step aside and bring Ron Roosh in to continue on with the play-by-play -play with 10.31 remaining here in the second period. All right, thanks very much, and uh, good luck to you on the throat, Bertie. I know how tough this can be. 
And you've done a great job so far. We're watching just a great hockey game, and we're just nearing the midway point of the game now. It's over the line comes Shrasny. His shot is gloved by Craig, and he hangs on, and we'll have a face-off. Every time there's a stop that's in play, the United States are just getting great hands from the crowd here. They're very, very excited in this, in this tough game. But here again is another example of the tough checking that's going on in the game. Shrasny taking the United States player into the board hard after he had thrown the initial check. Face off will be to the right of Jim Craig. We've got Novak in there. And a uh, player, Harrington, encroaching on the face off. Puck is dropped. Pavlich gets the draw. It's back to Borjak, however. He tried to clear it away, and it's out at center ice. Down over the line comes Buzz Snyder, along with Pavlich. The drop back is to the Pavlich. Back to Snyder. Snyder in front of the net. Nobody there. Now they roll it out in front, but it's intercepted. And here come the Czechoslovaks at center ice. Carry the puck is Novak. He gets it over to the far side. They roll it in front, but there's nobody there to control it. And Harrington's got it. In the corner with Novak on top of him. He gets the pass over to the far side for Baker. He circles now the net. And Baker comes out with that long lead pass that goes by everybody. Cleared down out of the net is Trellick. He clears it into the corner. And the U.S. control again. Schneider tried to throw it into a pile of players in front of the net. But Novak will intercept. Here's Lukacs going over the line. He was hooked from behind. And now a long lead pass. It goes off the stick of Snyder. It's lying loose in center ice. Snyder chases it down on the far boards and shoots it in. And the United States pour over the boards. Puck is against the boards. Cleared out to center ice. It's uh, Frejcik over the line. It's called on the offside. And we'll have a face-off. This is CTV, Canada's Olympic Network. Do you know me? I won a few gold medals in the 1968 Olympics as an amateur. But skiing for me now is a business. And for that, I need an American Express card. And for the receipts that they sent back with the bill. Believe me, those records are easier to keep than speed records in the downhill. To apply for a card, look for this display wherever the card is welcomed. The American Express card. Don't leave home without it. Well, a concerned bench of the Czechoslovakian hockey team right now. Karol Goethe, the coach. The face-off will be in the United States zone. And penalties have been called. Dave Christian in the penalty box. Pozar and Christian just uh, getting their sticks up very high. And Christian, he was the person that came back and made the great defensive play on Lukacs when he broke into the opening. Teams are playing a man short, both teams. The minors were handed out. Buck is inside the Czechoslovakian zone and held against the boards. We'll have a face-off down there as you take a look at Steve Kristoff from the Minnesota Gophers. And also the U.S. bench. USA, they're chanting here. And from the faceoff, the U.S. gets it to the line. It's kept in, but controlling it and circling with that puck is Freaks there. Out at center ice now, right past Jonas and in over the line. It's cleared right back out to center ice, knocked down by Coverly. Over the line for Novi. Coverly trying to feed Novi in front of the net, and it was blocked at the defense and a tripping or batting ahead. They called it for batting the puck ahead, and it'll be called for a face off to the right of the U.S. goal. I thought they, that signal from Lindgren was tripping for a moment. Good call by the official. I didn't think he had picked it up uh, originally, but it was moved ahead with the, the open palm to a teammate, and it was blown dead. Uh, at the dot, just to the right of Craig in the United States uh, net. 8.30 remaining in the period. USA 3, Czechoslovakia 2. Don't forget, 11.45 tonight. Across the CTV network, Olympic highlights. You'll see that bronze medal run of Steve Podborski. And, of course, highlights of Canada's impressive win. An impressive win, I thought, Tom. I haven't had a chance to talk to you about it. But uh, they played very well against Poland, I thought. Well, a very important win for Team Canada because now Team Canada and the uh, Soviet Union are each tied with two wins and no losses on top of their group in these Olympic Games. Two of the three Stasny brothers out there, each team playing a man short. Juris gets it as Marianne Stasny got the draw. At least Peter Stasny did. He took the draw. 
Back inside the check zone now. Juris throwing it rink wide. Bubla on the far side, out in center ice. Bubla working to the line. Dostoevsky cuts through the fence and is poked away by goaltender Jim Craig in against the boards. And a hard check thrown by Baker. Puck is behind the net and picked off by Mark Johnson for the U.S. over to the far side. Taken by Eric Strobel, but he's checked on the play. Lost a stick. Still managed to get the puck out to center ice. Johnson then ran into Strobel, who's coming back after he picked up his stick. Now here's Strobel taking a two-line pass. And it'll be called back for a face-off a couple of feet inside the USA blue line. Wow, what a live crowd we've got here at the field house. Well, what a physical hockey game. Uh, Baker just leveled Bublin in the corner, and then Juris came back with just a tremendous check. Mark Johnson, one of the tricky players, and he is the son of Bob Johnson, the former Olympic coach, coach of the University of Wisconsin, who coached the United States Olympic team in 1976. The coach here in 1980, as you see, Herb Brooks. But Bob Johnson, a former coach, his son, now playing with the Olympic team. Novak will take the draw against Johnson, and it's poked out to center ice. Matt McClanahan is playing hurt in this series. Now out of center ice over the line it comes and it's knocked away. Mike Ramsey carrying it there. McClanahan reaches for it. So does Ramsey, but Czechoslovakia takes over. Here's the puck cleared rink wide. Aberman, Aberman throws the check. At least has a check thrown at him by Morrow. And it's Johnson. Johnson to Morrow over to the far side. Over the line comes Ramsey. He's checked. And against the boards, Halupa, and it's poked to an open wing. Chasing back over board on this side is Moro. He gets it inside the Czechoslovak blue line. Abramon it was lined up there by Johnson, and Johnson just flat out missed him. Now from deep inside the zone, that long lead pass. Novak uh, couldn't get the second pass away. And Posar goes down with a check from Christian. Pavlitz moves in as well, along with Snyder, and it's called for the faceoff. Decision 80 brings you the complete election story Monday night, February 18th at 8 o'clock local times. This is CTV, Canada's Olympic Network. For almost a year, you've seen the amazing Joe Clark conservative trick show. Turn a $2 billion tax cut promise into a $3 billion tax burden on working Canadians. Turn a promise to lower interest rates into the highest interest rate in history. Turn Petrocan into... Well, Joe Clark hasn't got that one perfected yet. Turn the Canadian Embassy in Israel into... into... it. Don't be fooled again. This is the time to vote Liberal. Well, Bush Schneider has the go-ahead goal here in the second period. 6.35 remaining as the puck is behind the net. Czechoslovakia in control. Coverly out on the far boards intended for a little Milan Novi. He's checked, but in over the line. Now comes Czechoslovakia for Preacher looking for a man in front of the net. Looks it in for Novi. Shot and it went off a leg into the corner. Now Baker goes in against Novi. Puck is cleared all the way out over the center ice. He's high and he's whistled down on a two-line pass. Close call at center ice. Good lead pass there by just a half a stride. At least I think it might be half a stride. We'll take a look at the replay on it. But they whistled it dead on the offside pass. Well, it was close, but Harrington broke in between the two Czechoslovakian defenders. And had he just been a half a stride behind, touched that puck before center ice red line, he would have been onside and free to go to the net, but just over the line. On well, the faceoff now, taken for Team USA by Morrow. It's out at center ice. Czechoslovakia with Stusny. Marian coming to the line. He stopped as his pass was intercepted for the United States by Mark Wells. He drops it off to Morrow. The Baker on the far side. That's Ramsey on the far side. He shoots it down. Juris blocks it just inside his blue line. Flips it out to center ice. Peter Stasny over the line. Stasny cutting for the net. And he's checked by Morrow. Stasny now checked as well by Wells. To Morrow behind the net. Marion Stasny took a whack at it. Wells, Morrow turning away from it. Players go down and slide into the boards. And at the moment that the puck was covered up, and I think rightly so, it was whistled dead. The United States, with their heavy checking, the checks like Morrow and Baker and Ramsey, they've been throwing tremendous checks. And they've got the Czechoslovakian forwards now looking every time they've got the puck. They're not freewheeling the way they usually can. And the team getting just a tremendous hand from the fans here, appreciating every moment of this hockey game. Peter Stasny at center. The left winger is Anton Stasny, number 20. And Marianne Stasny, number 18. The right winger, but at the top of the face-off circle right now. And 
Uh, get this face off underway in a moment here. Is taking the draws, Neil Broughton for the United States. One of the Stasnys threw a tackle inside the face off circle there. The puck is behind the net. The captain, Mike Caruzzioni, with the puck, just standing there. United States leading 3-2 with 5.20 remaining in the second period. Puck is off the boards of Ruzzioni. He can't reach it. He's got behind him, and he had his back to it. Now against the boards, Broughton beating it back to his defense. Christian, Christian to Broughton, back to Christian. Christian skating along his blue line. Now out at center ice, that pass off the skate of Ruzzioni. Here come the checks right back in again. Marianne Stasne, and sliding across the ice to block that was Christian. Marianne Stasny in the corner, looking for a man out in front. It'll be Zuras at the blue line, skating in. He takes a shot. It's off a leg. Kristoff threw the check on that one, or at least blocked it. And the USA comes out. Arruziani faking at the line. I think he had a man offside and elected to get back with it. Now it's cleared in by Baker. Going in deep, Kristoff, along with Juris, cleared around the boards. McClanahan, he just left it there. They cut for the net. Arruziani scores! Mark Johnson. Mark Johnson got it on the backhand, went in and scored, and it's 4-2 United States. Mark Johnson just walked out of the corner, fakes the little shot, goes to his backhand. The other Czechoslovakian in front of the net, and he's got room to move it right through. Czechoslovakian goaltender watching for that puck and those backhands, they don't like them, but the backhand coming right out of the corner, Mark Johnson taking his time, making a nice move by the Czechoslovakian defender. I don't think number 20, Anton Stasny, helped there either. Here's the chance for Czechoslovakian. They shoot and they shot it wide on a two-on-one break right off the faceoff. Now Abramont is knocked to the ice by Morrow. Four to two. The United States lead this one and the puck is cleared into the crowd. We'll have a face-off down in the United States end of the ice. Well, the United States fans just enjoying this. The first time they have chance for a medal probably since 1960, the way they've been playing at this, this point. But I'll tell you, this is not an upset. They're full value for this two-goal lead. In fact, they may have even had been able to add, except for that last little close call the Czechoslovakian team had off the edge of the net. But they've been carrying the play to Czechoslovakia. Had a lot of good chances. They're hitting them hard. They're slowing down those experienced forwards, and they're really taking the play to them. Novak taking a face-off for Czechoslovakia. They're in a position they have to try and come back. That sometimes helps the defense because you get the chance to get the two-on-ones as Pavlik sends the long lead pass and it went off the skate there of Schneider. He slammed in against the boards. They check in there. Abramon, the team captain for Czechoslovakia in there. We've got some shoving going on as well as Schneider gets involved. Down in the corner, well, there's Crazy George. <laughs> That's hardly crazy, George. Looks like him. Well, I don't know, but he's a happy fan, and he's uh, living it up there behind that glass. Mark Johnson moving out of the corner, just lifting that backhand behind the Czechoslovakian goaltender as we get another look at it. Here's Abramon at center ice. Lukacs can't get the pass. Christian goes deep into his own end for it behind his net. They're around the boards on this side. They're working along the boards, trying to get it out. Harrington unable to. Now they'll try again in a rink-wide pass. And they had uh, one of the U.S. players, Harrington, lined up out there. Now over the line it comes. Lukacs. Lukacs turning. Harrington coming in. He puts it to the line, not out. Keeping it in for Czechoslovakia. Novi in for checking. It hits the glass, bounces out to center ice. And Bozar will have to go back, but it's a Luka. Cuts in front of him and collects the puck, clears it out to center ice. Now here's Novi. Novi with Bozar over the line. His shot, and that's Cooley kicked in against the glass by goaltender Jim Craig. Out in front again, and it's hooked away, and here comes Terenzioni. At center ice. His pass over the line now. They go in, a chance in front of that, and Terenzioni had a chance to deflect that one in and just couldn't get good wood on it. Now in front of the net, the United States in four checking as the puck is cleared by Dvorak out over center ice and down into the United States zone. Ramsey shoots it off, Bozar's skate gets it again. He's at center ice along with Kristoff. He hit the line, Novi comes right back with Bozar, two on one. Getting back is Broughton and Broughton made the check there on Bozar as the puck was flipped over to him. Now in the corner, Bozar in tight quarters, circling away from the checking Slammed in against the boards by Ken Morrow, the six foot four, 210 pound defenseman from Bowling Green. And let's 
listen to the crowd. They're excited. Four to the United States. Well, Morrow did a good job of covering up uh, on the rush. Blatt moving over the puck, just slips it in front. Can't get enough wood on it off the edge of the net. But Ramsey just carried the puck up indiscriminately with a two-goal lead, just was charging it and got the puck uh, knocked off the stick at the Czechoslovakian blue line, created a two-on-one, and you can't afford to have that happen to you. Morrow doing a good job of covering up. Well, the Stasny brothers are out there, but that's Bubla taking the shot from the blue line, and it bounces off a stick into the crowd. Another face-off about six or seven feet inside the blue line of the United States. So the three Stasnys are out there for the United States. It'll be Mark Johnson. Well, they just scored. Now they make some changes on defense. For the U.S., Strobel on one wing, and on the other wing for the United States, it is McClanahan in the faceoff. Trying to control it. McClanahan comes out of a pileup of players. It's been a hit now, down over the line. Randy gets it as he cuts in, and Strobel and Rolick had to come out and cut off the side there. And the faceoff will be to his right. Finland leading its hockey game by a score of four to two. Here's the replay. Another good opportunity. Strobel just moving across. The puck comes off the side of the net, and Kralik has to make that diving save coming across to kill the puck. Stasny facing off in the Czechoslovakian end against Johnson. It's controlled by the U.S. near the line, cleared into the corner for Johnson. Johnson looking for Strobel behind the net. He's looking for a man out in front, but unable to, and Stasny clears it out to the far side. That's Marion Stasny, who got bumped up against the boards. It's cleared back into the Czechoslovakian zone. Bogla will go back to touch it. And he stops in behind his net. Johnson, more checking on the play. It's out at center ice, and it's taken over by the U.S. Strobel digging for the corner. Number 19 for the U.S. behind the net. Juras checks him into the corner. Strobel still skating after that puck. Back to the blue line, kept in by Baker. The late whistle, and as it's jammed in against the boards, the linesman blew it dead. A faceoff outside the U.S. zone with 1.37 remaining. In this, the second period, the United States leading 4-2. I'm surprised and encouraged by how physical the United States team has been throughout the game. They've been able to sustain this pace, constantly hammering away at the checks with just tremendous body checks late here in the second period. Harrington back into his own end from the faceoff, cutting behind his net. Novak right on top of him. Harrington chased against the boards. Now clears into the blue line. It's golf right back in again. After it on the boards on this side, Ken Morrow ahead at center ice for Pavlich. He can't control it. Here come the checkers the box once again. Novak coming in over the line. Feeding it in front of the net for Abraham. And Abraham unable to split the defense. The U.S. coming right back with Harrington. Harrington to the line, a drop pass. And Ramsey rolling it to the area in front of the net, but there was nobody there who saw the pass from the Borjak. Sends it out for Lukas. His shot, and it drips wide of the net as Craig had the angle cut off completely, about 10 feet out in front of his net. Now it's cleared around the boards to the far side. Buzz Schneider in against the boards. It's pinned in there. As moving in as well as Lukacs, and the faceoff with 51 seconds left in the second period. Some of these players in Czechoslovakian team, Novak, just going off. He looks like he's beaten already. He's going off with no fire, having a hard time making the bench. The United States team coming on and on and on and becoming even more physical as this game progresses. Well, we kind of thought that it, there might be a physical nature to this game. The United States has dominated it almost completely in that department. Out at center ice now, here's the race for the puck, is digging in as number 21, Ruzioni, the goaltender out, oh, he nearly got himself in trouble as Krillick was half blind there, he didn't know whether to come out or not, and Ruzioni dove after the puck and nearly poked it past him. Now a long lead pass, Bozar at center ice, he hits the line, Bozar right on top of him is Christian, Christian will pin Bozar in, they'll try to get a whistle with 26 seconds remaining in the period, now Kristoff is having a couple of words, with Lukacs, I believe. Face off will be to the right of Jim Gray. Well, Pozar was looking when he carried that puck wide. He wasn't going to the net. He was looking. He was taken right into the corner. He, he's looking out for those checks coming. He doesn't uh, want to come right out of that corner. And that's the effect of this physical game. The defenseman for the United States just throwing some tremendous checks. Well, Novi apparently will try to get the puck back to Nalibo with just a few seconds remaining, but he was unable to as Christian takes over for the U.S. and clears it out at center ice. 20 seconds left now as Nalibo has got it, turning. Needs it ahead. Preetzer, Preetzer, looking for Novi in front, and Novi kicked at it, and it went just wide. Now the U.S. with nine seconds.
seconds left with Kristoff leading the rush over for Ruzioni. Ruzioni muscles his way over the blue line. Two seconds left. That'll be it. And an impressive second period of hockey. They are standing here in the Olympic Arena for the United States. And we've got some pushing and shoving going on down against the boards, which will come to naught. But what an impressive period of hockey for the United States. The U.S. outscores the Czechs in the second period, two to nothing. They're chatting, U.S., U.S. There's absolutely no way we're going to hear what the shots on goal total is. We'll try to give it to you when we come back after the second period intermission. So, this is CTV, Canada's Olympic Network. But sir, hmm. this new AES word processor is going to save us time and money, hmm. even for a company our size. Because it's much more than a typewriter, we can double our productivity. Watch. It can change sentences, rearrange whole paragraphs, all in seconds. And it types perfect copies at 540 words a minute. Welcome to the firm. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Frisley. <laughs> What's the great name in sports? For over 100 years, the name Spalding has been found wherever great athletes meet to test their skills. When you want sports equipment that lets you be your best, choose Spalding, the great name in sports. And what a fast skating, hard checking hockey game we have going on tonight at the Olympic Arena between Czechoslovakia and the United States. The U.S. scored two goals in that period. At 4.79, Buzzy Snyder, and later in the period, Mark Johnson. But one of the physical highlights was when Bill Baker, who was the number three draft choice for the Montreal Canadiens this year, decided to dump one of the Czech players and he tipped him right over the boards. We stained half this tabletop with Flecto X3D, the wood stain that fills and seals beautifully. One hour later, we stained the other half. And look, it dried without streaks or blotches. Flecto X3D is a gel, so the color stays even easily. Flecto X3D wood stain, finished with Flecto Verithane liquid plastic. Tough, but beautiful. Flecto, when you want to do it right. One certainly has to be impressed with Team USA tonight. They gave up the first goal of the game to Pozar of Czechoslovakia. They rallied to tie it, and they get the only two goals of the second period. And as we head into the third, Team USA leads Czechoslovakia by a score of 4-2. to two. And there were some interesting highlights in that second period. This is a goal by Buzzy Snyder, set up perfectly by Pavlic. And that was 3-2 for Team USA. Pavlich rolls it in front. Look at Buzzy Snyder, number 25. And he sends it past goaltender Yuri Krelik. Another angle of that go-ahead goal by Team USA. Snyder moving in front and just deflects it home. And there was a solid check in the game by defenseman Bill Baker, number 6. As we look at that goal once again, but watch the check here on Kybrill. He goes up over the boards into the Czechoslovakian Baker. Baker, who was the hero in the 2-2 tie with Sweden, really laying the body in this game again tonight. The fourth Team USA goal scored by Mark Johnson from McClanahan and Irazioni. And just prior to the game, Mark Johnson was chatting with his mom and said, Mom, I've got to get a goal tonight. It's Valentine's Day. And there it is. And the Team USA bench emptied after that goal by Mark Johnson. And that's how it stands right now at the Fieldhouse. 4-2 is the score for Team USA over Czechoslovakia. Lloyd? Sorry about your voice, Bernie. Don't breathe on me. No, but... <laughs> uh, I think you it's can... going around. I think everybody's getting it. <laughs> I hope not. Yeah. Uh, we can talk for a second or two here about your impressions of that second period. Uh, just briefly, did you think the Czechs were looking demoralized in that period? Well, they're a funny hockey team. I think if you lay the body on them, and that's exactly what Team USA is doing in this game tonight, Lloyd, that it uh, just puts them back a stride or two, and they're a little cautious, and I think that's the, the problem uh, with their team. <laughs> 
For more live action on the hockey game between the Czechs and the USA, this is CTV, Canada's Olympic Network. I've always been one for those things in life that last forever. Fine jewelry, fine motor cars. So imagine how excited I was when I found out Speedy guarantees my muffler for as long as I own my car. Speedy will guarantee the muffler on your car for as long as you own it, be it domestic or imported. It goes without saying that that can save you money. It's wonderful how some things seem to last forever. Unfortunately, the major didn't last forever. It's the Lakers. The Honorable John Crosby, Federal Minister of Finance. As sure as the sun is coming up tomorrow, no matter what government Canada has, energy costs are going to rise in the next few years. We are the first government in Canadian history ever to offer tax credit to meet those rising energy costs. A credit that will amount to $80 for each adult in the family, $30 for each child. If the family's in under $21,350 in a year. Even our gasoline excise tax of 18 cents needed for conservation purposes, for energy self-sufficiency, even that would only cost a family driving a car 10,000 miles a year and 20 miles to the gallon, an amount of $90 in a year. Five people in a family would get an energy tax credit of $250, half in 1980 in full in 1981. Real change deserves a fair chance. On February 18th, vote Progressive Conservative. Well, some of us may be a little surprised about the success of this U.S. team tonight. They're now leading Czechoslovakia 4-2 to two as we go into the third period. But there are some interesting people on this team. For example, there's defenseman Mike Ramsey, who was the number one draft choice by Buffalo last spring, but he elected instead to play for the Olympic team. They were also the winners of the pre-Olympic tournament. And what? Dave Christian, the son of Bill Christian, who scored uh, the winning goal in the 1960 Olympic Games, uh, against the Russians uh, at Squaw Valley. His son is uh, playing tonight. So all in all, there is lots of experience here. They're college juniors. They've been practicing very hard, and obviously they're learning. Uh, the Czechoslovakian team, as Bernie said, are beginning to hold back and watch and uh, see just what the Americans are doing. So it should be an interesting third period as the Czechs attempt to get back into this hockey game. We are going back now to Fieldhouse. The teams are back on the ice, the Olympic Arena. Our commentators are Ron Roosh and Tom Watt. All right, we're back at the Olympic House. It's 4-2, as Lloyd just said. And I think, Tom, the goal of Czechoslovakia right now is to try and open it up and get an early goal. Uh, the longer this goes, the more hyper this crowd is going to get and the more difficult it's going to get to get anything. <laughs> Even if they do play well and uh, come back and uh, there's a lot going for the United States, the crowd, the momentum, everything else is going right. They still have to face Craig, and Craig is a very steady goaltender. He doesn't give you too much. We get a look at him here, and he's a very solid goaltender. He's played the majority of the games for the United States team, and they're going to have to work to get the puck by him. Craig, uh, the stories here are, will be signing with the Atlanta Flames immediately following the Olympic tournament. As from the faceoff, there's a check thrown at center ice by Kadletz. Bubla having trouble with it. The puck is knocked down with a gloved hand for the United States of Pavlich. It's cleared in deep. After it is Kadletz again. Kadletz out at center ice past Stasny and is taken by the United States once again. Morrow. Morrow over for Ramsey. He shoots it in. And the puck is deep in the zone, and in after it, and putting some pressure on his Pavlich, chips it out in front of the net, that ends up out at center ice, and turning with it is Morrow. He's a big fella. Off the boards it goes. Harrington can't control it. Morrow, Rick wide, Ramsey on this side. Back to Morrow. Morrow at center ice, called on two lines, and back for a faceoff a few feet inside the U.S. blue line. As you see, young Ramsey there, Mike Ramsey, as just mentioned by Lloyd, the first ever U.S. born player taken in the first round of the NHL draft. And that was by Buffalo last year. 
Well, Cadlitz is now replaced on the defense with Bubla has replaced Juris. So the Czechoslovakian coaches are making a few changes, trying to shape things up. On the faceoff, Novak has it. He's number 11 for Czechoslovakia. He clears it in past Abramon on the left wing. Christian behind his own net. He's working with Baker. Baker just played tremendously. Be a very important goal against Sweden. And look at this long lead pass. And it goes ahead of Wells. The goaltender, Kralix, and clears it out to center ice. Against the boards, turning with it. After the struggle, he gets it over the boards, or at least over the blue line for McClanahan. And it's brought right back out to center ice again. And against the boards, Baker to Johnson. Banged it off the boards for Christian. Christian losing it inside the zone as it's cleared into the corner by Ebermann. Now Baker back once again. Baker out to center ice. Back board, Halupa. Ahead, Bubla gets it right back again. Inside his own blue line. Number nine is Dvorak. Dvorak ahead. And here come the Soviets with Novi over, at least the Czechs with Novi over the blue line. It's rolled in front of the net. It went off the glove of goaltender Jim Craig. And it's poked out to center ice by McClanahan. Haberle back in over the line to Novi. He's offside. He beat the puck over the blue line and will have a face-off outside the blue line of the USA. And just after Cairo got the puck, his old friend Baker, the same fellow that knocked him right over into his own bench, just leveled him as he tried to make that pass at the United States blue line. Took him into the boards very, very hard. So Cairo knows Baker's number. Puck is dropped. Novi loses the draw to Broughton. Ramsey, Ramsey, off the boards. Kristoff at center ice. He falls down. Goes Novi on top of him. Morrow, Morrow, over for Aruzioni. Aruzioni, a rink wide pass. He had to get it behind him, Broughton did. But now he gets it over the line with a player trapped inside the blue line, Kristoff. So a face off outside the Czech blue line right now. 2.18 gone in the third period. USA leading Czechoslovakia 4 to 2 in this very, very important blue group hockey game. Finland defeated Japan by a score of 6 to 3 in the red group. Shots on goal were 51 to 29 in favor of Finland. Japan managed to keep that one close. A goaltender for Japan had a rough night against the Soviets. We get icing called here, but he has put in some pretty good international games at times. Well, Finland uh, struggling a little early in the in the tournament, and Team Canada so far. Win a bronze medal, finishing third. And the winner was this man, Leonard Stuck from Austria. His was perhaps the best run of all. Now, technically, he was just about perfect. Stayed low in his tuck, kept his arms in. Stuck went out ninth, and that's quite a good spot as well. In any event, his run got him a gold, and his countryman, Peter Vernsberger, finished second. Austria won a silver as well. And about Steve Podborski, his brother Craig, also is a skier, watched the race from his Don Mills home, and he celebrated. He was very pleased. I'm very proud of him. It was uh, third period as the checking seems to be taking over. But when you have a two goal lead uh, in the third period, 17 minutes to go, your coach, your Herb Brooks and so on, you don't want that flow. You don't want it going end to end now. You don't want to open up and get into a shootout here. You want to slow things down, take your time, don't make any mistakes. If you get the opportunity, okay, add to the lead, but we don't want to make a stupid play. Over the line now, the U.S. breaking for the Nea Christon. Shoots, scores on the rebound. Celebration is underway here with 17 minutes remaining in the hockey game. Five to two, the U.S. leading. I don't know who got in for the rebound. You probably saw it better than I did, Tom. But they have scored in a pileup. Well, the answer is everybody got in for the rebound. They carry everything into the net. We have one. Well, went off. It went off the arm, it appeared, for uh, from that one of Dave Christian. Christian. Let's take a look again. Yes, Christian going right to the net, and he's carried. He's being checked hard by Dvorak. Stopped. Everything is carried into the net. The puck went in with the Czechoslovakian goaltender and Kristoff. I don't think at this point Kristoff really knew the puck was in the net when he got up, but it was in behind Crowley. Well, it is now 5-2, to two, and Czechoslovakia now... We'll try to really open it up, and they could get caught a few times. Here they come, back over the line. Silk shoots, and he's right on. And blocking it there at the goal is Kralik. And a face.
face off, and notice how quickly, Tom, they are changing lines now, the United States, which means that the Czechs are doing much the same thing. Well, that's what you have to do, in protecting the... About the team levels to Dane Tiger indicated he knew what was wrong. Get tired and be in a position where they make a mistake or get a hook in the penalty or get in bad defensive position. You change every opportunity that you get. A little jostling in the face-off circle. Harrington over in front of the net there. Buck is dropped. It's out into the slot. Snyder to the blue line. There's a shot by Morrow. It's blocked at the defense, and Novi comes out. Novi carrying the puck to the line. He's dangerous. Novi over the line, but he can't get the shot away as the defense covers up. And the puck is poked away by Ramsey to the blue line. Not out. Cabrillet at the far side now. Cleared into the corner by Naliba. Cleared to the side of the net. And the U.S. coming away again. Harrington up the left boards. At center ice with the Ramsey, a trailer on the play. Ramsey cutting in front of the net, but also is there in front of the net for the United States was Pavlich, but it hopped over his stick. It batted out of there by Harrington. Harrington working to the corner. Harrington looking for Pavlich and Brogdon. There's a chance for the U.S. and they score! Schneider! Collected person. She's a very kind but it's cleared into the corner on the far side and after it for the U.S. is Mark Johnson behind the net Ramsey Ramsey to Stusny in behind the net Peter Stusny out for Bubla he gloves it knocks it to the ice the shot is off the leg of Ramsey and behind the net for Morrow Morrow skating away with the puck out for center ice now here's a lead pass intended for Johnson it rolls all the way down to Kralik oh look out and Johnson was going in on that one and Kralik nearly got himself caught once again now again, Bubla, the lead pass for Marion Stusny. He's unable to get it. It's cleared out to center ice by goaltender Jim Craig. Bubla cuts across from his right defense position to pick up the puck. He drops it off for Peter Stusny. Stusny starting out. The puck is deflected by the four checkers. Bubla finally gets it. Marion Stusny. He's checked. Now hits the line. Marion Stusny being poked off the puck by Brunton. And the puck is cleared behind the net. And Ramsey clearing it around the boards on the far side for Strobel. It goes right by him and all the way down the ice. Icing will be the call here after it is touched. And no, it is waved off. One official called it icing. The other said no. Now here come the U.S. again. Erzioni's over the line. Gets set and just as he got set, it was poked away. It was in 20. The only double was 8-3. and three. And there you have it. Oh. Can I just mention that score? Somebody passed it on 6-2, the Americans. The U.S. is leading the Czechoslovakians. That's in the third period. Careless, as they were, they were ahead by a lead of 6-2, and now it is 6-3. The goal scored on the pass across the goal mouth by Novak. Well, a two-on-one -on break, a two-on-one -on break, and look at Craig. He puts everything he's got. He just dove across there, trying to get that puck. Novak shooting all in one motion, just a little late as the puck goes. We'll be back in a moment. to see something few people have ever seen. The book barn closed. Dave Silkin on top of him. Puck is cleared out to center ice. Down over the line it comes. There's the shot. It's blocked very coolly again by Craig. Behind the net. The U.S. with Dave Christian back there. Leaves it in the corner for Mark Wells. Here they come. Out to center ice. Halupa reaches across. Pokes it back in over the blue line. Back to get it. They'll be offside there. This is CTV, Canada's Olympic Network. Do you know him? Playing golf, maybe. But here, my little ski team needs this. The American Express card. It gives a family on vacation a great feeling of security. It can handle anything from ski lodges and lessons to emergency check cashing and plane tickets home. To apply for a card, look for this display wherever the card is welcomed. The American Express card. Don't leave home without it! Just 
to announce the crowd, 7,125 here at the Olympic Center, the largest crowd ever to watch a hockey game in this building. They'll probably break that record a few times before the next week in a week or so are over, especially if this U.S. team continues to go the way they are. Harrington around on his blue line, fed it straight up ice, Coverly then knocks it down. He tries to flip it in, does, right on Craig. Craig then just shovels it off to the far boards, and Harrington can't get it out of the zone. Noby, Noby clearing it to Morrow. Morrow behind his own net. Around the boards for Schneider. Schneider just sh backhanded out to center ice. Pavlich over the line. Harrington, Harrington getting set, gets the shot away, but it's blocked at the defense. And Noby, Noby over to this wing for Czechoslovakia. That's Breitzer. Noby trailing as Breitzer went in over the line. Noby trailed on the play, got it offside, carrying it in. And with 12.54 left in the game, and the score 6 3, USA, a faceoff outside the U.S. blue line. Breitzer showing his frustration here at the offside. When he is hit and goes down, just swinging his stick. He thought there should be a penalty called there, but just the aggressive play of the United States. All was on Czechoslovakia. Stasny's got the puck, Marion Stasny, but he loses it, McClanahan, McClanahan, great move, he's over the line alone, he's shot, and it just dribbled wide off the pad of goaltender Jesse Krylik. Against the boards now, McClanahan chasing it into the corner, around the boards for Bubla, behind the net, Bubla starting out, he's chased up against the boards as... The U.S. very aggressive for checking. That was Strobel doing the work there. Now Baker against the boards. The puck is cleared down into the U.S. zone and back to get it for the United States' Dave Christian. McClanahan just turned. You see him on the bench. McClanahan just turned. Cattle hits inside out on that opportunity. Put the little inside move. Went to the outside. Had lots of time to get away a shot. Kralik had to come right out of the net to cut down the angle and take away any net that he might be seeing behind him. Rotten will come out to take the draw against Novak for Czechoslovakia. Out at center ice, Lukacs. Lukacs over the line. Lukacs cutting into the slot, and he was knocked down. He was stuck flying by Ramsey, who made the check as he was trying to get the shot away. Now Ramsey goes flying. Here's Borjak with a shot. That's kicked away. And Aruzioni throws it out to Broughton at center ice. Down over the line with Ramsey. Broughton puts on the brakes. Against the boards in front of that for Aruzioni. And he was checked just as he got the pass. This back out to center ice. Now taken by Morrow. Morrow shooting it in. Kristoff's after it. Out of the net is Krelik. He leaves it for Dwarf. Borshak, and Borshak successfully clears it into the corner for Halupa at center ice. Novak to the line. Novi is stopped on the play. Novak's got it again against the boards for Halupa. Halupa out for Pozar. Pozar got the pass behind Novi, gets it back to Pozar. Over the line and against the board. There is no Garden of Eden, British Governor Lord Soames contends. Political intimidation is, he feels, a fact of life in African politics. But the level of violence in this election campaign has exceeded even Lord Soames' expectations. Houses have been machine-gunned and grenaded, vehicles bombed, politicians and civilians threatened, beaten, and murdered. Naliba on defense, his defensive mate, cleared off the boards, Noby, Noby, under pressure from Baker. Now Christian moves in, two players overskate the puck, Noby in over the line, and the puck is cleared into the corner, and Wells is there for the United States. Wells around the net. Wells at center ice, that lead pass. Out there is Broughton. Broughton to the line with Brachota, and Brachota couldn't get the pass. Puck comes to the blue line. Baker moves in, pushes it off into the corner for Czechoslovakia and Naliba, and his clearing pass intercepted and is hoisted right to the goal mouth, and Perlick will hang on. It's called for a faceoff. This is CTV, Canada's Olympic Network. <laughs> Irwin. Bucket attack on a passenger beat. Read. Make tracks in the ski world by entering Gillette's Make Tracks contest. For each entry, we send 25 cents to the national ski team, and you have a chance to win one of four sobs. Gillette's Make Tracks contest. Help Canada's team make tracks, and you can make tracks in a sob. Enter wherever you see these Gillette products. Well, there's the story. 10.30 remaining in the game. 6-3, to three, the United States. We keep telling you, the Czechoslovakians can explode on you, but they're not getting much of an opportunity right about this time as the United States is doing a great job of checking on them. 
Buck is cleared at center ice. Off the stick there. At center of Padlets. In over the line. Good check there. Good forechecking. Now the puck is loose in front of the net. The chance. A quick shot. Oh, what a save. Tremendous save. As the U.S. did just a great job. Schneider and Harrington in there of forechecking. Around the boards. Padlets. It's left against the boards. And it's, now it's cleared behind the net. And it's Schneider behind the net. Out in front, he put it right on the stick of Peter Stosny. Ahead for Marianne Stosny. Stosny working to the line. Stosny still with that puck. Drops it for Anton Stosny. His puck is right on and is stopped by Craig. And here comes the United States once again. At center ice, carrying it over the line as Ramsey. He's got some room and he shot it just about an inch wide on the far side. Now it's at center ice once again, but Ramsey is diving across the line, but he didn't make it. He was trapped inside that blue line. So we'll have the offside call with 9.28 left in the game. Well, Ramsey's effort to get back onside, just diving, trying to come in, as uh, Johnson was trying to make the play, just diving, trying to come out to uh, stop it. There we see uh, Kralik's great save as uh, Czechoslovakia was reeling in front. But that way that uh, all that try that Ramsey trying to get out of there, I think exemplifies the effort the United States team has put in all evening. We've seen a lot of that tonight. Over the line now for Czechoslovakia, Aberman. Aberman going to get it over for Novak. Lukacs goes down, and here comes the United States again. Mark Johnson up the right board. He's got McClanahan on this side. Over the line, he comes. McClanahan gets the puck. He's in front of the net. He shoots. He scores! continues here in Lake Placid. Mark Johnson makes the play, just uh, comes away, slips a nice little pass to McClanahan. McClanahan going down, shooting it in the short side. Kralik doesn't look too good on it going down. But at the same time, there it is, in the short side. Kralik trying to stop with his pads. It slides underneath him. But Mark Johnson, a sweet play, a sweet play moving over that line, just slipping it under the defender's stick to put McClanahan in the clear. He came from his own corner, and he was flying by the time he hit center ice. And McClanahan, who was playing with a deep bruise in his thigh, which he picked up in the first period of the Swedish game, still pretty effective. There's a puck that was shot right on Jim Craig, and it deflected downwards on him, but he still managed to get in front of it. Craig plays his position very well. Coverly over the line, it went off the stick of Fritzer, and Morrow behind his own net. 7-3 United States. Eruzioni, the captain of this U.S. team. Out at center ice, it went right behind Kristoff, who was breaking up the middle. Now here's Kaliba, but he is checked on the play as he tried to get a pass away. A weak man, Brutton's over the line. Brutton sweeping the defense. Brutton has rolled it weakly to the goal mouth, and he took a hard check there by Pozar in against the boards, and Pozar's got the puck. In for checking is Kristoff, but he passes it off to Coverley. Coverley at center ice. Over to the far side now, and Pozar is stopped on the play, and it's hooked out to center ice by Wells, and down into the check zone. Back to get it. Naliba, he touches it, icing the call. This is CTV, Canada's Olympic Network. Now, Zenith System 3 is even better. Even better. The sharpest Zenith picture ever. An all-modular chassis designed to be our most reliable ever. And now, better sound. Four speakers. On the surface, the Tory plan of cutting... Get a $25 rebate on the purchase of any 26-inch or selected 20-inch System 3 model. Face off and down in the USO. The puck is cleared out to center ice. Marion Stasny is sending it straight ahead for his brother, Peter. Peter is over the line. Banned on that pass under pressure. Here comes the U.S. once again. Out at center ice over the line. Suter. Suter for Fajota. Fajota out in front of the net. Wait past everyone to Wells, but it's back at the blue line. Baker. In off the boards for Chota, behind the net, trying to get it out in front, unable to. Moving in there also was Dave Silk, and now it's Marian Stasny for Czechoslovakia. At center ice, leading the Russians, he cuts to the right boards, he circles in. Stops up against the boards, rolled it in front, a backhand shot right there by Peter Stasny, but it's intercepted, it blocks right in front of the net by Wells, and sent right back out to center ice. Suter, Suter in against the boards. Suter. 
as we see some fresh troops here for the United States. Over the line, Pavlich, Pavlich dropping it off here, Schneider's shot, that was a screen shot, but it was blocked by Blue Blue, who just closed his knees. They're trying to put it between them, it's jammed in against the boards. Cadlet's a little upset in there, as the going went a little rough again against those boards in the Czechoslovakian end. Well, Lindgren blew his whistle quickly when everybody went to the boards, suspecting that there was going to be a little bit of a trouble there. Uh, moving in, so he blew that whistle very quickly. The puck really wasn't tied up, but he didn't want any melee in the corner. Well, this coming Monday is Election Day in Canada. Don't forget Decision 80 on CTV, full election coverage. The face-off will be to the left of the Czechoslovak goal. And here they come. Out to center ice, carrying the puck for Czechoslovakia, that's Dvorak. Now here's the rink-wide pass, Lukács is over the line, Lukács, Ramsey right on top of him, and he's trying to get a pass away, and Ramsey had a good check on him, and he just fanned on it. Halupa moves in, clears it into the corner, the United States try to take over, and they'll just pin it in there and hold it. And we'll have a face-off in the U.S. zone, we've got 6.23 left of the game. USA lead by four. The importance of the face-off right from the draw, people moving in there, but in a game like this, you have to maintain possession of the puck, and the United States has done a very good job tonight, all night, with their face-off men getting the puck, because a team like Czechoslovakia, you don't want them to have that puck, you want to keep it in your end, and you want to control the puck, don't give it to them, so that they can start wheeling and mounting their attack with the puck, with that possession. Well, speaking of face-offs, Johnson beat Novak on that particular one, the puck is behind the net, they're out over center ice, back is Alupa, a race for the puck, good hustle by these U.S. team, but he was offside, Strobel getting in there, and it'll be brought back on the two-line pass. They may be tired on that bench, but they look pretty happy. As you see Eric Strobel of the University of Minnesota, another Buffalo draft pick two years ago in the eighth round. Face-off will be about, well, right at the top rim of the face-off circle. Novi taking the draw against Johnson, and Johnson gets the pass coming out of his end to McClanahan. McClanahan showing great speed here, and he's going around the defense again, but diving back and making the check there was Fritzer. Now the puck goes to the far boards. Novi circling back, trying to regroup. They've been trying to do that all night. Now coming out is Coverley. Coverley ahead for Novi at center ice. He's in over the line. Novi, very smart puck handler, cleared it to Freitzer on the right side. He couldn't control it. It's back to Coverley. It gets past him. And Freitzer coming out, took it offside, and again the face-off. Don't forget, great Olympic action here on CTV. Our coverage of the 13th Winter Olympic Games. Hockey tonight, figure skating. We'll alternate with hockey each night here. Figure skating starts on CTV tomorrow night. And on Saturday night, that key game with Finland. Now Suter. Sending it into his own end. Erizione. A very strong game here. The puck is cleared down into the Czechoslovak end once again. Or checking is Kristoff. Suter's in there as well. Try to tie up that puck and it's thrown into an open corner. Ruzioni's got it. Ruzioni back behind the net. Trying to get it out is Kristoff. Now it's back to the point and it hops over the stick of Ramsey. Ramsey over for Ruzioni. He's checked on the play by Stasny. Anton Stasny to the line. And forced to go back as they line up almost four abreast there. Buck is cleared in, knocked down by a high stick, but Suter is able to control it. Suter, the play was not called dead. Sosny on the far boards. <laughs> Good check going there, and oh, cruising out at center ice was Broughton on the play. And they've been able to poke that out. He was home free. Well, Suter hasn't played much tonight, but I can tell you he's a tough customer. In the six games that Team Canada played with Team USA, Suter was very prominent in throwing his weight around, but I feel in the Olympic tournament probably... Uh, Coach Herb Brooks wants to keep him off there because he does pick up quite a few penalties, although a very physical defenseman. 
Now it's center ice turning with it is Aberman. Aberman just sends it along the line. Now over the line is Lukacs. He took two hits in there. And it's into the corner. They try to roll it out again, but the U.S. has been doing this all through the evening. They cover up completely. Lukacs, a screen shot, but it's blocked by a Czechoslovakian player. The rebound. And Greg made that shot uh, blocked. Now it's rolled in front again, rolls wide of the net. Morrow goes back behind the net, but Craig elects to clear it into the corner himself. Now the U.S. at center ice. Here's a two-on-one, but Wells was ahead of the puck and went across the second line before he took the pass, so it's called for the face off. If he slows down, picks up the puck just before it touches the red line, they've got a two-on-one, but he waited a little long, waited a little long, got over center ice, put himself off. I don't think he saw the line because he was looking coat. Presumably people are living in the... What happens to the perhaps 1,000... Bozars checked off the puck, and it's cleared away again. 3.43 left in the game. Back to get it. And call on the icing for a face-off in the U.S. zone. Well, the United States not wanting to take any chances in their own zone because in Olympic play, every goal for and every goal against may have a bearing in the final standings for medals because if it comes to ties, because you're only playing a single round robin plus the medal round, then goals for and against may count, and the discrepancy between goals for and against are also very, very important. Witness the last Olympic Games where on the goal spread, West Germany won the bronze medal over Finland and the United States. Well, Johnny Esau will remember a game a few years ago, Father Bauer's very first game, where a goal spread, they changed the rules about halfway through the Olympics. And Canada ended up out of the medals after a three-way tie for a silver medal in that one. It was in 64 at Innsbruck. And we've got a player now, that's Mark Johnson, who's played so well tonight. And I didn't see what happened there. Well, I saw what happened. I'll tell you, in the lead, I just cross-checked him right in the throat. And uh, there, is, there doesn't seem to be any penalty on the play. But I'll, I'll tell you, it was just brutal what Naliba did to him. And talk about uh, losing your cool and losing uh, what's happening here. A very experienced Czechoslovakian team is, is losing its cool. And there's no reason for a check like that being thrown. And I don't know where Lindgren was looking. But there's Johnson down on the ice. And he took a very hard check and an unnecessary check from the Czechoslovakian defenseman Naliba. We'll get a chance to take a look at it there. There it is. Just came up with a stick right underneath the throat. Down he goes. And the United States players, their suitor, putting his uh, stick right under uh, Naliba's nose here and giving him a little threat. In fact, this may just break out right here. He's telling him what he thinks. In fact, the linesmen right here aren't even looking, but there could be a thrash right here. They're gossiping back at the blue line. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, Suter's the type of player he wants to challenge him right now. This may happen. We don't have it on camera. And you can hear some of the threats coming from the bench as well. There's Herb Brooks, the coach at the University of Minnesota. And his mouth is going a mile a minute. Well, we've had, it's been a rough hockey game. Baker taking a shot in the face and then coming back to play such a tremendous game. There's a the replay again. That's Novian against the board. There it is, right in front of it. And there was no reason. The puck was on the boards. Naliba just moved up and Colcock Johnson, and Johnson's a very important member of this United States team, but there was no reason for that check. The United States coach is very upset. Some of the players are upset. And I'll tell you, if Naliba's on the ice for very much longer, there's going to be a little bit of action going here. Suter, I see, moving over again. Suter is eyeing Naliba, trying to get to him. And I'll tell you, if Suter and Naliba stay on here, there's going to be a thrash. I think Herb Brooks is of the mind to leave him out there, too. I'm Carl Goot. I take Naliba off. Still got a long way to go in this one. That I would get. To go, and we have seen Naliba come off the ice. Catletz has come out to take his place. A reminder. 10.30 tomorrow morning. It is speed skating as our continuing Winter Olympic coverage from Lake Placid here on CTV and figure skating 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time tomorrow night. Bobla from the faceoff shooting it in and 
it is held there by Craig, and he prevents further play with that. We've got 323 left here. USA 7, Czechoslovakia 3. Well, Ramsey trying to get his licks in. Bubla just got rid of that puck, and Ramsey followed right through and dropped Bubla. Bubla is a tough customer, and he's a real competitor, too. But Ramsey and Bubla are going at it, so we may have a thrash before this is over. And Aruziani said that somebody threw a spear in there, and he pointed at Lindgren. And then sort of shrugged his shoulders as if you don't even know what game you're in. Here's a shot that's kicked away, and Ruzioni's got the puck. He goes into the corner. Peter Stasny clears it into the corner. Anton Stasny couldn't reach it. It's out at the blue line. Uh, Anton Stasny throws a check, and there's a Ruzioni. And Ramsey steps in and just puts his arm around Anton Stasny's neck. There's a Ruzioni. He is very, very displaced. He's from Boston University. He's the two-time, or at least the second all-time point getter at that school. They've had some great hockey teams there. The number one point getter in the team's history at Boston U is Rick Mahar, who's now in the Montreal Canadiens organization. Here's the check thrown over against the boards. Peter Stasny in there. Now he stops up. Watch Anton Stasny come in late on the play. Here it comes. He's ready for it, though. Oh. Ruzione trying to get away from that first check, but this starts that he comes back off the boards, and there's going to be a thrash before this is over because I don't think Lindgren has full control at this point of the hockey game. Dvorak's out there on defense now with Halupa, and who else is coming out? We'll just have to wait now to make some decisions made here. It's Abermont. And from the faceoff, it's cleared in. We've had a penalty call, penalties called, and it's got great bias with all the pushing and shoving, but they are minors called each team at center ice now. Stick handling down to the line. Christian, Christian over the line, trying to drop it back. Here's a backhand by Eric Cione. Here's Christian with a chance. His shot rips just wide of the net. And going after it against the boards is Aruzioni. Wearing it out to center ice, is carrying it out himself. Ducks away from a check, tried to hook it past the defense. And coming right back, down over the line now. For Czechoslovakia, that's Borzak. Borzak in against the boards. He's checked by Broughton, and the puck is behind the net. Broughton, ahead for Aruzioni. Out at center ice. And Borzak going back into his own end lazily. There'll be no icing here. It doesn't cross the red line. And ahead it comes. At center ice, it's Lukacs. Lukacs tried to one-hand it over the line. He was ridden off the puck. And at center ice, two on one. Schneider over the line. There's the shot, and it drips wide of the net. Baker at the blue line. Baker keeping it in. Trying to get it past Abermont, but Abermont hooks it out to center ice. And the U.S. will go back into its own end as Morrow goes back to touch it. He's going to stand there and wait for the icing. Nobody's score checking him, and they call it finally. I just stood there for the final minute and 55 seconds, but I guess they won't let you do that. Now watch out now. Naliba's out there. Naliba and now David Silker having words. There was a cross check out there. Well, I don't see Suter out on the ice, and, uh, and I'm glad to see that from Herb Brooks because I would think that uh, Suter is a real nasty customer, and Naliba's out there. Uh, well, he's been taken off by the Czechoslovakian coach and Boob will replace him. There was going to be trouble after that check, but I'm glad to see Herb Brooks keep Sitter on the bench at that point in the hockey game. Face off to the right of the U.S. goal. It's cleared out to center ice. Out after it at center ice is Silk. Circling away now, Bubla. Bubla passing to Posar, and he was taking that pass, and Prochota had him lined up, but he managed to survive the check, and it's inside the U.S. zone. Turning his cover lay. And against the boards, Pozar, Pozar out in front. He'll try to control it as Novi, but he loses it behind the net. Dick handling with it is Baker. You see what's left in this game. 125, 124 remaining. Buckers along the boards, and they're starting to stand here at Lake Placid's Olympic Arena. Berchota's got it at center ice. Now he clears it to Silk. Silk's over the line. David Silk working for the net. Silk getting set. He shoots. He's right on with it. And it's blocked by Kralik on the short side. Now Novi behind his net. Novi has played about 30 minutes of this period, which is very unlike Czechoslovakia. Novi at center ice. Novi's over the line with Coverley. Stops. Clears it in front of the net, and the rebound goes past Coverley. 53 seconds remaining. In against the boards. 7-3, United States over Czechoslovakia. 
Puck is down into the check zone. Back forward is Bogla. Bogla cutting in front of his own net. He starts out. 39 seconds left. They're starting to stand over the line now. Boozer and the shot. And Craig makes the save and hangs on. There'll be a face-off to the right of the U.S. goal with 33 seconds left. While the fans are all standing chanting USA, USA, Craig made that stop off Pozar on the edge. Come on, maybe shake it up a little bit on the play. But there you see a very happy United States bench captain, Captain Ruzione, Strobo, Wells, all of the players playing a great hockey game. They must be a happy lot tonight because that really, this win tonight will really enhance their medal chances. And the fans all realize it. And I think a lot of U.S. games are going to have a lot more people at them from here on in. Well, the medal round, I think the U.S. has practically guaranteed itself of a spot in the medal round. A tie against Sweden, a win against Czechoslovakia. Well, there are three remaining games are Norway, West Germany, and Romania. And they're, they're a tough part of their schedule is through. So getting into the medal round looks pretty good for the United States at this point. All right, here comes Wells at center ice. He's going to try a lead pass for Harrington. Harrington breaking in, but he was just ahead of it. And with 24 seconds left, we'll have a face-off outside the Czechoslovakian blue line. There's Harrington. Number 28 for the University of Minnesota Duluth, the alma mater of Chico Resch, among others. Four seconds left. Bubla inside his own blue line. The countdown just about to start here. Bubla ahead. Down over the line now for Czechoslovakia. And the puck is shot into the crowd. Deflected. Getting a number of whistles here in the final minute. But 12 seconds left. There's nothing that can put a damper on this crowd. And the bench all standing up. And you know where they're going to head in 12 seconds. Straight for the net. And their goaltender, Jim Craig, on the faceoff. Sosny couldn't control it. Strobel's in. Six seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. The game is over just as Jim Craig catches the puck. And the United States goes out to mob Craig, who really... We've got a little problem at center ice with some players pushing. Stasny, Marianne Stasny's been in a little trouble in the last part of this game, too, but eventually they'll line up at the blue lines and then shake hands. Czechoslovakia walked off the ice on you, Tom. Yes, they certainly did. Czechoslovakia walked off the ice when we beat them in Calgary. I'll tell you, they're all coming on the ice now, but they don't want to shake hands. Some of them are trying to get off the ice, some of them, but they're all coming back to shake hands. I don't know, I'm uh, a little worried there may be some trouble when they shake hands. Well, in this game, the total shots on goal favor Czechoslovakia by a 31 to 27 margin. But the USA, with a tremendous physical game against Czechoslovakia, win it by a score of 7-3, to three, and I'd have to say they are in the medal round, the top four. This is Ron Roosh at the Olympic Arena with Tom Watt. This is CTV, Canada's Olympic Network. In public, a little bit too early for the conventional. The appointment is at eight, isn't it? oil that also gives him super premium engine protection and the coals on switching to radial tires that save them gasoline and alan sirota for getting a regular engine tune-up to save him gasoline people like these look to esso because they know esso research results in products and services that can help them save esso part of canada's future for the past 100 years if you believe canada should pull its weight for the election prize. Damage to NATO of manpower cutbacks and obsolete equipment. Events have proved Canada can be an influential partner in the Western Alliance, but only with a government committed to pulling our weight. Real change deserves a fair chance. On February 18th, vote progressive. When the cost of oil went up, good old Jerry converted his oil furnace to gas. But then when gas went up, he cut down on gas 
by adding wood. Now Humphrey reduced his fuel bill by insulating with fiberglass paint. The money he saved on fuel helped pay for two weeks out of the snow and into the sun. Save money this winter. Insulate with fiberglass pink. It's like long underwear for your home. Bernie, as the sign said, the U.S. certainly checked the checks. No question, Lloyd. A very emotional night there tonight with uh, well, Team USA uh, after the tie with Sweden, defeating Czechoslovakia tonight in convincing fashion by a score of 7-3. to three. Buzzy Snyder had a couple of goals in the game, but I thought one of the highlights of the game occurred in the third period. It was quite a play. It gave Team USA a 5-2 lead on this play here. Christian goes in, takes the shot. The scrambles in front. Burkata finally sends it home. And that was 5-2 at that point for Team USA. And then they just went on from there, increased the lead to 6-2. Czechoslovakia scored, and then McClanahan rounded out the scoring. And that's how it wound up tonight. 7-3 for Team USA. And they now share the lead in the blue division with three points. And uh, Sweden with them because they tied in that first game. And we also must mention that Canada had a big win today. 5-1 over Poland. And they're undefeated in two games. So that leaves uh, the U.S. and Sweden tied in the blue division. Canada and the Soviet Union in the red division. This is CTV, Canada's Olympic Network. Do you know me? I won a few gold medals in the 1968 Olympics as an amateur. But skiing for me now is a business. And for that, I need an American Express card. And for the receipts that they sent back with the bill. Believe me, those records are easier to keep than speed records in the downhill. To apply for a card, look for this display wherever the card is welcomed. The American Express card. Don't leave home without it. Well, with the tie in first place in these two divisions, the red and the blue, in the between the U.S. and Sweden, in the red between Canada and the Soviet Union, it now puts Canada in an interesting position going into the final uh, tournament and the medal round. Bernie? Right, Lloyd. It almost assures the United States of a position in the medal round because they have Romania, West Germany, and Norway to play. Team Canada, though, has really had an easy time of it so far with Poland and Holland. So uh, they have a couple of ga uh, big games coming up. The game Saturday against Finland, and then they play the Soviet Union. And uh, they really have to uh, win those, although they've won their first two. But uh, they're in a tough position, but I'm, I'm sure they can do it. Well, of course, that will be the one to watch on Saturday night, Canada and Finland. And we'll have that game live here on our CTV Olympic coverage. Several other features coming up on the CTV Olympic coverage that we'd like to remind you about right now. Tomorrow morning at 10.30 Eastern Time, don't forget that we'll have the men's and women's 500 sprint competition at the Speed Skating Oval here in Lake Placid. Gaetan Boucher and Sylvia Burke for Canada. Eric Hyden, the favorite for the United States. And tomorrow night, the competitions begin. And the pair's short...